Oh, I got it. Hey. hey! There they are. Oh, Still right there. Oh, oh, I got no. it. Right right my legs. We hey. gotta close that door or something. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream. We're gonna get the shares out. It's gonna be awesome. Jill's about to tell us five seconds. Hey! Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Boom, 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 boom. Five, four, three, two, one. And good morning, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. All you beautiful people listening to 98.3 Bridge. This is Corey here with the Beyond Limits. Beautiful people. Through. Absolutely. It is currently. 43 degrees outside, looking at a high 75. It's going to be a hot one today, baby. 75 get, degrees. Get your running shoes on, people. Hop oh, on a bike, go fishing, do something, because yeah. it's going to be a marvelous day outside. Go kayaking. Oh, yeah. Guys, go, how get, you doing? Do something. Woo. Woo. I'm a little fired up this morning, Corey. Yeah, I see that. A little that. fired up. Right. No <laughs> more coffee for you, big boy. No more. <laughs> Only had one and a half cups, man, That's, and I'm ready to roll. One I mean, too many. You know what we're talking about? <laughs> you, know, you know what we're doing? So we mentioned this. A couple of weeks ago, where Corey had said, you know what we should do? We should do like a Beyond Limits Eats. Eats. Yes. And that is happening. It is a real thing. And we are putting together a list of locally owned restaurants in Beaufort and Pitt County. Yes, man. We need your help. I'm excited about this. Yes. Hop on the live stream and let us know where we should go. Be sure to tag the eating establishment if possible. And if you are not on Facebook, if you are listening to us and you're not on Facebook, Give us a text, 252-495-0024, and let us know where we should eat. Yeah, so it's called, we have settled on that, right? It is called Beyond, Beyond Limits, Limits Eats. Eats. And then, of course, Corey. whatever mm. restaurant we're eating at, that'll be that'll be the title. So that'll be the episode, per episode, uh, Beyond Limits Eats. And we don't. Those hot dogs. And that, perfect. Yeah, and right. we don't want anything corporate. We we right. want these small no, yeah. business. We want the privately owned, privately you know, owned small businesses. We want business. holding the wall. Spotlight. Love it. You yeah. know, local That's a phenomenal idea. Favorites. I'm telling yeah. you, Corey, man. you are just the ideal oh, machine. Stop. It. Can I give you five right now? Come on. Okay. I'd okay. give you a and hug, but I'd have to leave my. You guys are place too much. Nice. No, man. But you know what? I used to sh love to watch. Yeah. Uh, on the Travel Channel, they'd have all those shows. Yes. There was one Come like on. uh, Man versus Food, uh -huh. and all these different places. You know that were just sitting around food. But um, I, I keep thinking about the areas that the bridge serves and the places mm -hmm. that we live and you know yeah. washington greenville new Bern, there's a ton of culture and good local establishment people yes. love to eat yes. at so uh i mean how fun would that be to go eat some good food and find out more about the people I who run the food. places Dude, and, the you know. comments are already coming in where we should eat oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. these people, it, man. people man, that is let's awesome go. let's do it so I, I am excited can we talk stupid criminals come on let's stupid do it. criminals so today we are going to be talking uh, about some some dudes who made some very poor life choices, all right, and, and and got caught. So if you're a criminal, don't do this. Don't do dumb. You things. ready for it? Here we go. Charles Ray Fuller enters a a Texas bank and writes a check. Yeah, for I've a check before three hundred and sixty. Billion dollars. <laughs> the world, man. This dude tries to cash a three hundred and sixty billion dollar check oh, in this Texas bank. Oh, um, that's killing me. And, and it wasn't even made out to him. He made it out to somebody else and, and tried to cash it. <laughs> I, what in the world, man? So like, yeah, sixty. You know what it is? That's stupidity, and it's also greed. The judge sentenced them to a million billion years in prison <laughs> as, as a joke. But yeah, that, that was that was that was awesome. Three hundred and sixty. Three hundred. And he didn't even write it to himself. It's like I wanted to. So I, when I was working at a car dealership in Nashville, we had this lady come yes. in and she bought a vehicle, wrote a check for it, um, forged a check. And when we found out, guess what she had done with the car? What? She had donated it to her pastor at her church. So she 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 stole a vehicle and donated it to her pastor. And it's like like this guy, like, why is he writing the check to somebody else? Like, hey, brother, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you with $360 billion. Dollars. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You can't make this stuff up. No, nah, you can't. But you know what? You can make up. Joel can make it up. The Joel. next song. And it's Toby Mac. I just need you. Sorry, I didn't get to. I tried to tell it quick so we could do the tease. What? The tease. Oh, yeah, nice. No, oh, man, that was perfect. Sex. It's all good. It's all good. Hey, guys. Hey guys! Welcome to the show. We're talking about uh, stupid criminals, and we want to know where do you guys think we should eat? Where should we eat? 
telling you this. So it's gonna be big. If you're if you're just getting up on the live stream, we're gonna constantly uh, reiterate it. We're gonna you know tell it because people. Gonna, yeah, they're gonna. <laughs> what did you just say? Yeah, but Villa Verde. Villa Verde. I'm telling you, man. You said Villa Verde so yesterday, didn't know, you? Think about think about Washington. Excuse me, Beaufort County, Pitt County, Craven County. We're gonna be going out to all the areas that the station touches. Uh, out in the county, if there's a hole in the wall place out in, in a rural county, let us know about it. We'll go there. We'll try to reach out to the owner and set up a time to do the episode and. One of us will be filming, or, or yeah. somebody else. I don't know, man. Get Maybe a guy Josh will film if he can handle we'll it. We take the tripod, yeah. and I'll just get some footage before you know? and after, and it'll be yeah. it'll work. But uh, yeah, that's what we're looking at doing. It's gonna be really, really awesome. It's gonna be a Good lot of fun. Good morning. Where should be fish? I am an expert on food. Beyond be fish. Woo! Limits. What's going on in here? Eat. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Man, I'm Good. jacked up today. You know why I'm jacked up, Corey? First. Why? The Lord kind of gave me a word this morning, and I'm just just so pumped about it. So, I'm just... It's just you are. All kinds of... My goodness. Oh, yeah. I got all the shares in. Flows and Wilson. Brian Fischel. Yes, sir. How do you spell corporate? Flows, baby. C-O-O-R-P. No, no, no. C-O-R. Oh, yeah. Corey's the main on this. Why are like, There we go. Order correct. Got it. C-O-R. That's what I weren't following. Oh, yeah. Norman Kirk. So, I roll. I do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And I have a very sensitive... Yes. I have very sensitive skin on my face. So, what you're seeing here will likely dry out and scab over over, the, over today. It's not gonna be pretty. I doubt. I mean, it might not, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's gonna scab over. But I just have very sensitive sir? facial skin. No. Is that yours? So yeah, it's Matt Burns. Yes, it's Matt Burns. Is what it Matt is. Matt burn? Yeah. You literally because when your face rubs up against it, just the friction. It's a burn, pretty much, is what it is. Like, like but it's not a bad burn. burn. Like carpet burn. Sorta. Of, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it doesn't really suck as bad as a uh, carpet burn. Though, really. You know? I mean, it's still un uncomfortable, but carpet burn is rough, man. Like, you get a good carpet burn, it, like, immediately you can see. There's no skin missing here. What is that? It's just rub raw. That? that will scab over then. And that's yeah, yeah this, be, this probably will scab over. Does it over. still hurt? Are you putting, no. what are you putting on it? No. I just, I mean, I showered before I went to bed last night. If I put, like, a, like, need a sporn on it. Don't tell me how to run my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dad! <laughs> no, Dad! No. <laughs> oh, right. I'm just saying. Somebody, no, Justin out. White did that to me last night. I'm trying night. to help you out. He had, so my buddy Justin, he didn't have, he works on the gang unit, so he can grow facial hair. And one, I swear it wasn't bad, but one of his side of his beard was, I feel like it was a little longer than the other. So all I did, I was like, you need to trim that beard up a little better. And he was like, you don't need to tell me how to run my life. Like, so I was like, that was pretty awesome. Brian Fischel said chicks love scars. Hey, Man, hey honey. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Amber. Oh, hey, guys, so if you, this is probably going to be a regular thing. So don't be too concerned, but I appreciate the concern. I really do. I was Amber Groom says, glad you're okay. <laughs> I was concerned this morning. It does, man. So when I used to I wrestle. I thought you might have got beat up last night on your shit. No, no. Wrestling it, with it's, a perpetrator. It's something that you can't really ignore. I mean, I'm looking really at it. Perp, see, it's that. perfect because my angle of the camera, I can see it on my face. Yeah. It's very noticeable. And you kind of want to, you feel compelled to ask. Compelled. Well, what's up, bro? Come on, somebody. Come on, so somebody they, from yeah. Woo but, hey, um, where do we need to go eat? Beaufort, Pitt, yeah. Craven? Brooklyn Pizza in Goldsboro, yeah. Brian Fischel that says. Thank is. you, Brian. Ooh, right. that place be Got good. Got all my shares out. Perfect. Seahorse in Greenville, Curry for Law. Seahorse is good. That's awesome. It's by the hospital. I've never been. I've seen it. It's got a little buffet on Sunday. Oh, they got good food. It is can, it like it a brunch? Hello. Nah, you can go there like right after yeah. church. You roll up there and they'll you can go there anytime. Yeah, it's good. So they do, um, and really their good. desserts, they keep in a case. So they make like a homemade chocolate cake. Yeah. And they'll put it in a case. And it's like, once it's gone, it's gone. It's not like a frozen in the back, man. I mean, it is like, it's yeah. legit. And they have a good salad bar. That sounds awesome. Um, Brian Fisher, what I do know you, what you mean, who's Ops Vester? Is that a place? Oops. He meant Oops he Vester. Said, he oh. said all the guys at. Uh, beater say hello, but he meant Vester. Oh, I knew yeah. what he meant. Vester. So, yeah, I knew what he meant. Yeah. 
So uh, when, when are we looking to film this first one? Like ooh, next week? Great question, Karen. Karen Cooper. My my plan is uh, yes. Okay. That's what I'm planning to do. Uh, we well, usually keep we the mats there year right. round. But we could do it. We don't well, not year round. Excited. Excuse me. But um, when I they're currently doing using the mats for B let. Uh, but after another month, they probably won't need them. And then by that time, it'll be close to summer. But my plan is yes. Somebody did ask me uh, about doing wrestling, and I, I told them yes. I'm planning on doing it. So spread the word. Spread I am the still word. Plan- yes, I am still planning on doing Dominion wrestling. Yeah. Uh, Norman, me and Corey would change seats, but I, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, I don't like, um, well, I'm just weird. Hey, hey, Angel Norman, Angel. Norman, you Not relax now. You. Relax, Norman. You just calm yourself down, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> Norman. That was good to me. I don't know why that was so good to me, but the tone in which you yeah. took. Yeah. T- t- do it again. Please do it again. Hey, Norman, you just calm yourself down, okay? Relax, Norman. <laughs> it's one the same. It was one the same. You're hey, going to have to go back and cut Norman. that. Hey, you have to cut that out. Clip that out, and we can put that as a That'll be our Norman. With him going. With him going. Calm down, Norman. Calm Connor down. wants to do it. Let us Let's know when. That. I will. I'll keep it up. Hey, go on. Uh, Woo! Let's go! Go on um, Dominion Wrestling Club's Facebook page if you haven't and like it. That way we'll put updates out. We don't put them out a lot, but you can follow it that way. And by not a lot, it means once every, what, three months? No. I haven't put anything on there. So, well, when when the season starts, or like when it. we actually go, yeah. Okay. Like throughout the when the summer starts, we'll put updates up there and stuff gotcha. like that. But when it's not in session. Villa Verde. Villa Verde. Villa Verde. Tag them. Hey, what's his name? Hornaday? I don't know, man. I've never been to Villa Verde. It's good. I've never been to Villa Verde, but I like saying it really fast, Villa Verde. It's good. It's right there on, and they have a food truck, too. Hey, oh, Na- Nadia, yeah, Nadia says, um... Angus Grill. Angus Grill, and yes, that place is good. Where is Angus Grill? So that's off of Jarvis Street. They have one in Winter. I think they still have the one in Winterville. So Are they behind the one. college? Yes, but they have yes, they have one now. They're a third in Jarvis. Okay. They put one there, and it's good. I've been there twice. Is they it got like some burgers? Good burgers? Yes. Okay. They got okay. some good burgers. Good food. Norman, they don't have to ask because as soon as you sent me that baby video, I sent it to them on our group text that this we is have. Correct. He Bri- sure Brian Fischel, is that El Tapatio? That is El Tapatio. Okay. Because they have one. I, they might still have one in Rocky Mount. Too. Look at you go. Look know, at Brian. you, baby. Brian, I'm just saying. No, no, because no, I've been. We're high five today. See, I've been to one years ago in Rocky Mount, uh, but I do remember it was really good. Really, yeah, really good. El Tapatio. El Tapatio. El Tapatio. Chris Grimes. What's up, fellow? fellow? Lee's Country Kitchen. Now, I know you don't, eh, whatever, because we've eaten there so, ma- so so many times. Where? Yeah. Lee's Country Kitchen. Never eaten there. It is. Do you know where North Campus Crossing is? Probably not. Um, yes. Do you, it's a, it, anyways. So, what is the oh, name of that road like, that it's on? Not, not, not Witcher. Oh, Witcher Road. Witcher Road. Yes. Witcher Road. Now we're nowhere. talking, Nancy. Plank Road Steakhouse. Dude. Marvel. Listen, Plank Road Steakhouse in Farmville, Nancy Lee. That sounds good. That's good. I Courtney like Blake, Blake, you better Blake. come on. Courtney Blake, I, I knew I could count on her. She's talking about Tarboro Coffee House after On the Square in Tarboro. On the Square? There's some Edgecombe County up in here. I like that. Yes, ma'am. She, I agree with that. She has planned like our whole Jack like, lunch I like and that. dessert. Courtney course. Blake, I'm, I'm from Tarboro, so I definitely appreciate it. On the Square really is good, man. Now is that where we ate? The, yes, yes. The only time I go, if I ever go, I haven't been in a long time, but I, I like to go for lunch because it's yeah. just sandwiches yeah. and a special. But it's simple and it's good. Like they got good sandwiches. Simple and good is good. Yeah. There's a place in Kinston that reminds me of that. Yes. The Pink House. Pink uh, House. Peach House. Peach, Peach House. House. Oh no! I and thought you were gonna go uh, with the farmer and the chef. I thought, I thought you were gonna go. No, Peach House, and it's because of the peaches. Ha- the house is peach. Okay. The chef and the and, farmer. And it's actually it's in a like old style house, and you it's like you're walking in the front door, but it's a restaurant inside. You can sit up upstairs, downstairs. It's That's really good. good. It's good. Is it the chef and the farmer, not the farmer and the chef? I thought it was the farmer. And the chef. Carl and Shell's Steakhouse in Goldsboro. Yes. What's going? What's up with all these places in Goldsboro? I didn't know about. The Carl and Shell's. So Brian tells me. Frank, yes, Frank's, Frank's Pizza. Dude, I mentioned that yesterday, Danny. Frank's Pizza. I ate there on last Friday, maybe? Last Friday? Frank's Pizza. Yeah. Danny Washington. Bunting says Frank's Pizza yeah. in Washington. I've heard Amber Groon says Frank Pizza is amazing. Is there a train yes. outside? So, there's been a, yeah. so this morning on my way into work at 
40. I get right here where this train track is. And there's a train going across, and it's going across at like half a mile an hour. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to give it, like, it was actually 535 probably. I said, I'll give it 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So, at, And then what are you going to do? At 545, I was like, I got to get to work. Because I, I, I got to hit play on a, on a song. So I went, I backed up and went around it. And it was still there when I got here. Went around it. Oh, you, yeah, by the, yeah. Pull it works. Yep. Yeah. Shep's Grill. That sounds good. Shep's Grill. These are good. These are delightful they are, they are drinks. Good. I was telling the guys, I went into Harris Teeter this morning to get a muffin. Because Joel talked about a banana Little nut. Miss Muffin. Muffin. Set on her. And they didn't have any. Okay. In the muffin stand. <laughs> which is the whole point. In the muffin stand is to have muffins. So, yeah. And all they had in there was cake. Yeah. Yeah. You know, cake. I, you know. Yeah. That's what I'm talking. They about. They thought I was coming. Why don't you get some cake? I ain't get no cake. You man. get no cake, nah. man. So they didn't have any banana nut muffins. They didn't have any muffins. My my theory. Okay, no muffins. Period. Zero okay, muffins I, were in the muffin stand. But I'll take back my my earlier thesis. Joe, have you ever been to Ship's Grill in Washington? You have. How is it? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I say, yeah. yeah. Nancy Lee's. Hey, recommended this is the it. second these. Yeah, Market Street. Good morning, Scott Johnson. Judge O'Bonner, if you're listening, man, I got some fresh mat burn for you I to look at. There sometimes before church. Yeah. Do what? See you, Brian. Yeah, Brian. Have a good day, buddy. Have a good day, Brian. Thanks for the suggestions, man. D's Grill in Grimesland has great food. Open 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. They sell almost everything. Amber wow. Grooms. She Amber Grooms. The is, hours. I'm telling yeah. you, Can man. She, so I. I can't see on here. Are people being able to tag? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, guys, if you're able to do that, that's probably smart. Tag the restaurant if they have a website or they have a Facebook. Tag them, and then they can see what we're doing, and then they might even go ahead and reach out to us, or we can reach out to them, one of the two. Plus, it gives them business. Exposure. Because yes. I want to tap on them and find out who they are. Otherwise, uh, we got to Google. Too. Google. Google. Because I ain't heard of we a lot Google of these places. It. I haven't either, man. Go I didn't know there were so many steakhouses in Goldsburg. Yeah. There's so Carl and Shells, Carl is you know um, who's is it J uh, John Boy and Billy that has the hot sauce out or the, <gasps> the that's another sauce. segment. Um, yeah, yeah, the hot sauce, the segment. barbecue sauce. Brian, are you still on? Is it is it John Boy and Billy? Is that who Carl? Anyway, so Carl helps. He's like co-partner with them on their on this sauce. Right. And also has this really nice steakhouse. Come on, so. now. Lauren. We we eat Bagel Man. Yeah, I ate all there yesterday. The time. I ate there. I love Bagel Pork. Man. Mm -hmm. Bagel Man is Excuse good. Excuse me for just a second. What? What's happening? Oh, money! Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> Did you do it? What'd you do? I'm just telling you. He got the breakfast special. The breakfast special with cream cheese. With the cream cheese. Now. <laughs> I had to put it on myself. Yeah, yeah. I did. They, they, see, I remember they didn't used to do that. Now they're doing it where they give the cream cheese to you in a side cup. Yeah. Side Woo. Ramekin. Woo. I got but bacon yeah. and man. Shep's I, oh, I put that cream cheese That's on That's what I bagel. get, man. I don't know. And hey. it was like melty a little bit. Oh, praise Jesus. That was good. good, man. Uh, yeah, I love it. It's, it just does something more than just a regular slice yes. of cheese. Man. You know what I mean? It's oh, pretty good. Oh, my goodness. I never, ever... In a million years ever would have thought about that. A million yeah. years. That's a, a long years. time. 360 yeah. billion. Chances are you probably. <laughs> How does my man walk into a bank and try and cash a 360 billion, 60 billion yeah. dollar Then What did he tell him? I just won the lottery? Good yeah. morning, Mom. Like, I don't even. That's so weird. Good All right, so we got Frank's morning, Pizza, Amanda. Bagelman, Shep's Grill, D's Grill. There's I'm going to so throw some of these out, man. They've been, yeah. they've been going crazy Frank's up here tonight. Frank's Pizza, um. Yeah, I got uh, that one. Plank Road Steakhouse. Plank Road. Uh huh. Minute twenty. You're a minute twenty. Villa Verde. You are. Hey, um, Jared. Angus Grill. With this here on on the second segment, <sighs> you got for topics. You got man arrested, listed job, and drug dealer. And then segment five, man posted yeah. his actual. Do I need to go through both of those topics? No, no. no. So the this is segment two. Segment five will be the ah. I got, I'm 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 tracking now. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Bill's Just Grill. Down. Yeah, ta Bill's tag. If you know the owner, tag them. Or if you know the Please business na the business name, uh, then 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 tag them if they're on Facebook. Because we're trying to figure out where we're going first, and that would help. 
You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Corey. Whoa. Two, Jared, open. I know what you're saying. Hey, 22 people. Hey, another thing. We're going to try and break 34. Our new record is 34 people live at the same time, so don't hop off if you're on. Donnie back. Donnie back. Man, I need some new here. places to eat in um, Beaufort County, Pitt County. Hey, Mom, Mom, Mom bro. I mean, Donnie. Morning, Mom. She yeah. hardly ever responds. Thank you for responding and saying, hey, good morning, Mama. You know what I think your mom wouldn't do? Call you a stick in the mud like she my won't. mom. She won't. Mama won't. <laughs> no, she didn't. What did you say, bro? Here we go. Oh, my God. Here you go. Getting serious up in here. Five, four, Five, three, two, one. Man, I'm so stinking hungry Whoa. right now. You thinking about all these places to eat, man? Yes. It's crazy. Calm down. Dude, I'm, I'm all kind of, I'm, Look, I'm eyeing your apple over there. Dude, hey, that's my I'm, apple. I'm thinking, both no, you you're know, not eyeing that apple over there. You cannot try to, you know, yearn for something healthy that's mine. <laughs> if I had like a big old whopper the over there. words this morning. Yearn. If I had like a big juicy whopper Why just cheeseburger, that I could see that. Mm. But gee, that's an apple, man. Yeah. Nobody just, wants to. Nobody yearns for Unless they're terribly apple. hungry. into apple pie. Oh my so, goodness. if it's confusing you right now while we're talking about food, we are starting a new segment, or a, a new video, a new yes. production. So, Beyond Limits is more than a radio show. We do productions. Um, we've done a Not a Shame series, and the newest is going to be Beyond Limits Eat. Yes. Nom, 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 and we don't want to eat at corporate places, you know, like yeah. your Cracker Barrels, or if somebody nominates McDonald's, then... Just please don't. Um, we're not going after. We're going for the quote unquote like hole in the wall, small places, privately owned. And we have got man, Frank's Pizza, Bagel Man, Shep's Grill, D's Grill, Plank's Grill, Angus Grill, Villa Verde. They are coming. Our people Georgie's are coming through. In I have a, what? a theory, and I think it's going to hold strong that it's yes. not going to slow down. People are really going to. So Pam Pippen, I just saw on the live stream, she's yep. asking lunch or dinner. Well, it doesn't matter, Pam. Oh, anyone lunch, breakfast, dinner, lunch breakfast, or dinner? Yes. Just bringing on snacks, whatever. There's some good bakeries that Bond you know of. Let us know. Maybe you own a bit. Maybe yeah. you are the owner of one of these small businesses, yeah. and you want us That's to a come. Great idea, Paul. Hop up on the live stream, your daily show, and you're going to see us. Comment, comment your business. Woo! Hey, it's, I so told you. We're also talking like yes. dumb criminals yeah, today. That's dumb. Him. So criminals. last segment we talked about some guy returned around a 360 billion dollar check and cashed it at the bank but i don't think that's as bizarre as this next one. no i don't either man I don't either Let, i can see hear. this let's I, bring it so yeah basically this this man was arrested and and he listed his occupation music. as a drug dealer what you heard it right people the man was honest in, in the arrest report when they asked him he said my occupation i'm a drug dealer you know so, so you know I, as a police officer i'm not too surprised really i'm really? serious paul will tell you sometimes people are honest with you no 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 no. well some people don't try to hide it you know because they know we know they don't have a job and if they've been arrested for narcotic sales then they'll just now for him to be that you know brazen yeah and just say yeah that's it and then put it on documentation hey you know, so, but I'm just not too overly surprised so, by so this. I, here's what I imagine man I imagine this guy being at the beach and he's taking one of these um timeshare sales presentation and you're filling out a, an application right and you're like how much money do you make a year and he's $140,000 what do you do drug dealer I just yeah <laughs> well now see that's different a little bit I just I think it was probably a situation this dude was already caught he was caught he, he was had caught been and nabbed this is one of those things yeah. you know and especially yeah I think sometimes people are arrested over and over and sometimes for the same thing Yes. So after a while, they're like, "Dude, we know you don't work, you know." <laughs> but um, I mean, at the we same know time, no, you're not. <laughs> it, it's it's uh, you know, I, I'm just not too surprised. But as like Paul will tell you, it happened. They would always sometimes. They I'm would surprised just fess that up you're not say, surprised. Yeah. Are you really? Yeah, I really nah, am. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's society. Mm -hmm. It's just society. It's, it's, a, it's, it's the world a different we live world. In, wow. You know, just the fact this dude was arrested, yeah. and writes down occupation, writes down drug dealer. Yeah. On the police it's report, on a, it's it's commendable on a level. <laughs> it's not, it's not commendable. I mean, oh my goodness! Hey, I, no, he's I telling the truth. You know we what? Can't you can't talk about handle this. the truth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole thing. That's the whole issue at hand here. Oh. So you know, Hilarious. hey, but these dumb criminal stories keep getting better and better. You guys, we're gonna tell some more, and you'll never believe the next one. But coming up next, when we pray by Torn Wells. Yes, that was. <laughs> you got to come get it. 
<laughs> this dude has. What's <laughs> this? He said you can't. He's not those people. Like perfect. <laughs> yeah. if, perfect. The only thing that would have made it better is if you yelled it. Dude. Yeah. So you can't handle the truth. I'm telling you, man. Douglas White. What's uh, up, bro? So, hey, Miss Miss Lisa Owens. I just I see you're on here. If you're still on here, you are the queen of knowing about obscure places to eat that are fantastic. Yeah. That's what we're looking for this morning. Pitt County, Beaufort County, local businesses, local eateries that we can go and start filming our Beyond Limits Eats. Let us know. I got told that these glasses look like female glasses. Dude, I'm so... Let me tell you something. Who told you that? So An older lady, which made it worse. I gotta give a couple shout-outs right now, man. Touch. There's some... Mike Robertson. What's up, brother? Do these look Mike. like female glasses? No. These, you know these are my running glasses. Yeah, no. They don't look like These are them. very cheap Yoders. because I didn't want to wear my Oakleys and drop them. So yeah. they're cheap. They were like $20. You can, I mean, you can tell they're, they're very cheap, but they're light, so they're running, and they're translucent, so when you wear them, like, like, so this is really cool, like, when, they're translucent, so when you wear them, the sun hits this, and it makes all this glow around it, I, I don't, $20, $20. That's crazy. I'm buying glasses they for $20. Look, are they the same ones you let me look out of? The other day, yeah, yeah, right? That's pretty cool. It's like wearing headlamps. I don't even know you anymore. Douglas White. Douglas White, hey, what's up with some Smash Waffles, Douglas White? I took the dispatcher Smash Waffles yesterday. And, oh, uh, cause uh, we Brett, can we Brett put them Kate on here? Smash Who? Waffles. Yeah. yeah, we can do it. We can we can admit somebody. <laughs> Did it sound like a record? We can we can we can. We can. <laughs> <laughs> Wallace Phillips, good morning, sir. Do they do Pastor? lunch? Who? Smash, Smash Waffles. I think they have. I'm going like to a, Smash uh, Waffles. I think they do like, like a bacon. Egg and cheese smashed waffle or so. I don't think they do lunch though. I don't think they do. But so Peden's really, grill? it's a really cool place. Oh, um, I've heard of Peden's Grill. Where's Le- Peden's Grill? You haven't heard of Peden's Grill? South Grill. Memorial. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. Memorial. no, no, no. Yeah. It's it, no. It's. Yo, I've lived in Wilson. That's for a big ten years. Country folk like cop favorite. Like they. That's okay. that's where you go for that. Yoders, Lisa Owens Miller. Thank yes. you. Or Lisa Mills Owens. You know, Butter syrup. Yes. Thank Lisa. you so much for that. Yes. I love Yoders. Hey, Hope Cuthrill, the Cow Cafe in New Bern. I love me some New Bern. Man. I almost missed that one. That's some good stuff. The Cow Cafe in New Bern. That is Ooh. so cool. Hey, hey. Oh, Wallace. Dairy Palace? Where's Dairy Palace at? Hey, Pastor Wallace Phillips for Carpenter Shop Church in Ahoski. He says, hands down, I'm a Parker's Barbecue dude. I know that's default for a lot of folks. You're right. It is around here. People Dude, love some parkers. I've missed so much. Uh, Gingerbread we, House in Bellhaven. Nice. Who? Parkers. About to be. Nope. About, Not yet. They're about to be. About to be. Yeah. About to be. We're working. Good deal. I just um, tagged old Billy Parker. The, yeah. Um, all right. So, did you get Gingerbread House in Bellhaven? Nice. Bum's Restaurant. Um, Gwendolyn's Goodies. Farm Boys in Bellhaven. Where are all these at? How am I not getting these? I, dude, they're they're coming in so fast that we're having to. I'm having to scroll back. Amber up. Groon says Farm Boys has the best shrimp. Ooh, I know ooh. they have corn nuggets too. I bet they got some good shrimp and grits. I yeah. love Giddy Up Coffee, Amber. Oh yeah. Where is that from? Giddy Up Coffee. Mm-hmm. It's in Washington. Washington. Mm-hmm. It's really good, but My it's not. Sister huh? My sister loves Hey, yeah, that's good. huge too. One of our sponsors is up here, and um, Mike Robertson posted, Free to Be Me volunteer sign-up is now out there. So if you entered his contest the other day, you already like his page, Free to Be Me, uh, on Facebook. Go there, check him out, um, volunteer. I think it's uh, you can sponsor yes. a child. You can sponsor something as small as a chair or a table. Yep. Um, and they're different things. But they'll know who sponsored. Your name will be on it, and it's really, really cool. It's a good event, but it's coming up in May. We're like a month out from Dude, it. We hey, gotta, we we're gonna, gonna be, be pushing there. that. That's I, I'm, I'm excited about that. Mike Robertson, I gotta get by and get a new commercial for him. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be there. We're gonna be there. Heck yeah. yeah. My, my supervisor Scott Johnson, he knows the way of my heart. Uh-huh. I'm just gonna let you know, because my man knows. Oh, I think he knows at least that I love barbecue. This dude says he suggested Sam Jones in Winterville. Yeah. Which, yes, awesome. Uh, Skylight in Aiden. Skylight Inn in Aiden. I, I haven't never been, man. Is it is it good, man? It's I've heard about it. He said Skylight Inn, and Scott also said Bees Barbecue in Greenville. Can yes. I make a confession? Bees. Yeah. I've You've never, never been had to Bees. Bees. Oh, my goodness. Dude, Bees was just named Good Housekeeping. Or yeah, one of those I've never been to Bees. Top 10 restaurants in the world. Or Bees. So, yeah. yeah. 
And then, on, and then Suzanne uh, Creech um, is uh, showing Winterville some love with the biscuit and bean. I know. What about like Pops Old Fashioned we're Burgers, frozen. Cubbies? Thanks, hi, everybody. Jessica uh, Lemon says the biscuit and bean, too. Yep. Pops Old Fashioned Burgers, Cubbies, um, Haddock's Grill. Haddock's Grill. Bullseye Grill, 102 about, Grill. And, sh- yeah. and Sherwood. And then Dairy Palace. Wow, so we've that's got a, couple, a she- We've got wow. a couple for Dairy Palace in Washington. Suzanne Creech, her husband, owns a landscaping company. Hey. Dairy uh, Palace. <laughs> you been there? Plug out through yeah, that out there. That, is it good? Should, uh, I'm still saying that we're good. We're not frozen. Oh, yeah, no, that's we're like, good now. That's like classic, classic. That's old. Ooh, Dairy Palace is up there. It's um, it's an old school. Cubby's is great. Cubby, yeah, is oh, Cubby's local? Yeah. They're not yeah. like. A, yeah, no. Nah, Cubby's is good. Winterville, There's two right? locations. One in Greenville, one in Winterville. There's one in. Oh, Cubby's. Yeah. Is there? There's a one oh, in. There's one in Winterville. Yeah. I didn't know that. So, um, if I think you that one closed down, didn't did it? I think so. Okay. Awesome. Well, which one? one? The one by the pit, I think. Wait, how long? So look, there? Cubby's. If you go out Old Tar, you get to Worthington. You hang a left on Worthington. Cubby's is right there on the left. Lauren's family owns Be- uh, Bees Barbecue. Awesome. That's awesome. That is awesome. Mr. Robert and Miss Sophie. Yes. We we used to go eat with um them and they like they were a part of the they beginning. They were part of the beginning. All right now. So they walk you into the kit like you don't walk in through the there's going to be a line out the door if you go the wrong time at B's cuz it's so good. Yeah. yeah. And once once they're once are they're you, done giving out food, they're done. Are you do you know Lauren Weiss? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking you, you weren't just talking about her, right? Yeah. I was. Yeah. Okay, good. Just making yep. sure. Yep. That's she is the granddaughter. <laughs> granddaughter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's really good. So they owns will, Bees Barbecue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it like there will be a line out the door at Bees Barbecue. Yes, it's that good. Yes, and we went with uh, the guy who helped start it and still very involved in it. Right. Or, well, was very was. involved in it. And um, so if you went to eat with him at Bees, you're walking in through the kitchen. So let me let me. Man, you know, I wish I would. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm 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 excited. We definitely Lauren Weiss. I, I'm sorry, I have to admit I haven't had Bees. I've been living in Greenville now. I'm like, so disappointed. I know, you. man. Well, see, I, dude, I, I feel like I was trying to get there when I was in college, and I just never made it by. Dude, I mean, I I pretty much lived in Wilson for the last ten years, and I've been to Bees multiple times. Yeah, I'm ready. To that go place in I've heard Wilson it's amazing, man. shut down. What Bills? Place? I'm talking. I didn't no, say what's the place in Bills? Bills. Is it? That's the one that shut down. Shut down. Uh huh. Sad. That that's was okay. A, that his was a good son. Place. His son. Is it gonna reopen has, it? No, not there. But he's his son's already opened a new restaurant, and it is it's. Like old bills used to be, it's really good. It's called Marty's. Marty's, great. Norman, they're not Marty's fake steps. It What's requires he talking more about? energy. It requires more energy for me to bounce up and down uh, the than to walk. Hey, Amanda, Amanda Paramore says Warren's hot dogs. Warren's hot dogs is good. Some ask it is. There's is that one, on the way to Chaco. No, it is. What? They they might have another one, I but it's North they Memorial, do, man, don't they? The one, so the one that I'm always familiar Lawrence. with is the one in the North, one, on North Memorial, Memorial Boston, Boston, there, like Ron Ayers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought that was the only That's good that to get that it. spicy sauce. That is Warren's, right? But is yeah. it the same Warren's that said your dad said has the great cheese biscuits now? On the way, just before you get the chocolate winnie. Yeah, exactly. that's got to be a side. Hey, one. I so, guess it's listen, the same people. You know the food pride. Grocery store on the way to Chaco. Yeah, on the right. Yeah, yeah. on the right hand side. So never been in there. So the other day, it's me, on the left so, if you're coming back. Yeah. <laughs> so the other day, right I'm driving. Of, it's right in front of you if you're coming up that intersection. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> ah. oh, I'll hide you if you're going the other way. If you're in the field, it can be catty corner to you at any given point. Oh my goodness, man! So Ooh. the other day, right, I'm headed. It was Monday. I'm headed to Chaco, and Johnny calls and he goes, "Hey, brother, <laughs> you had lunch yet?" And I said, "No, no, I haven't, Johnny." And he said, "Well." Listen, we, uh, we're we going to be pretty busy when you get here, so why don't you go ahead and pick something up now? And I'm like, okay. He asked me where I was at. He goes, I need you to make a U-turn. <laughs> I got a food pride. And I go, what? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, I need you to go to food pride. They and got I'm a like, grill in there? Uh, he goes, man, they got a grill in there. It's like country food. It's good. So, man, I go in there. They have fried chicken, fried pork chops, pigtail. Really? Barbecue ribs, collards. So... Um, Biscuit, homemade biscuits, um, cabbage, um, cabbage, mashed potatoes, uh, salt, like a Salisbury steak, you know, hamburger so it's steak, like soul and food. gravy. Yeah, dude, that's dude, cool, man. Dude, man. Now, so there's a place in Edgecombe County good. called Big Jim's. It's in Leggett. Yeah, and they have that. It's a gas station, but they have that same setup. Like they got a grill, like 
hot like sausage dogs, fried chicken, uh, cheese biscuits. Yeah. Like it's like that. And those are good. So we stopped there and went for it for a training day. Uh, not last training day, but the one before that. And we stopped there and they had um, boiled, not boiled, but uh, uh, what is it? What's the uh, dry, the roasted peanuts? Um, boiled roasted, peanuts or bo- roasted? No, not boiled. Roasted okay. peanuts, salted, roasted salted peanuts. And man, they were just for sale in little plastic Ziploc bags. Like you don't see this. I mean, this is one of those little like you know country stores and yeah. stuff. But uh, but yeah, no, that, that's what reminds I'm me. I'm always that, scared of buying stuff in Ziploc bags. I know. I, I thought about it. I was like, man, this is kind of this is kind of like what I grew up around. Lady named Debbie just dropped yeah. it off on her way in. She's yeah. like, here's some more. So yeah. Johnny, that, me and Johnny were talking about. Sometimes we drop our clients off cookies. Yeah. Um, our right. sponsors and stuff. We'll just. Drop a cookie off and tell them thanks. And he said, he said it's very important that they never think that they that your wife just made them in their kitchen. He said because on the outside, while that might sound good, I'm like, don't worry, dude. I would never bring eat something that somebody brought in that they're absolutely that I didn't know. So how do you what, how do you drop them off then? Um, Not so in we supply? get no. We go to um, if we're in if they are Greenville clients, we go to um, a Great Harvest Bread Company. And we'll get, Great we'll get a dozen a cookies. Scott Johnson, Little so Rocket, we'll, and, and Farmville. We'll, we'll package them up. We we'll put a little sticker on them. And if we're not in, um, if we're in Washington area, there's another bakery in Washington that we use. Yeah. Yeah. What's Deborah? It? Rachel Kays. Rachel Kays. I want to go there yes. again, man. So that was use, some good stuff. We man. use her. We She's use right. Her cookies. Lee's Country Kitchen. I agree with you, Mama D. Come down strong. That's a good place. I went there. If you go there on, if you go to Lee's Country Kitchen on Tuesday, you're going to get the pork chops, grilled pork chops. So Amanda Paramore, I gotta ask: Are you talking about Warren's hot dogs again when you say the best hot dogs and cheese biscuits ever? That's what I need to know. I've never gotten a cheese. See, biscuit if, she, if she is, then she's got to be talking about the one on the way to Chocolate Winter. Yeah. Because I haven't never heard about the one on Memorial in Greenville, which, by the way, I've only eaten that like once or twice. I've never heard of them having cheese biscuits. Oh, so but for Johnny four dollars and seventy five cents, including tax, you get two hot dogs, two, a bag of chips. And a drink at Warren's Hot Dogs. Yeah, oh no, I do remember that. It was very, very cheap. Yeah, it was Anchor awesome. Station. When we got all of our meat for the cookout for the youth team fundraiser, we yeah. did a cookout. We got it from Acre Station. It was extremely cheap. So I'm Acre going, Station. They yeah. used to be on the radio on the air with us. Um, well, they just so got tagged. So. I am on my. Uh, I'm trying to go back. Jessica Lemon says Abrams. I feel like that's Aaron Lemon. Aaron is that really good. Aaron? Is that really Aaron Lemon up there on yours, oh. Jessica Lemon? You're one twenty. Or is that you? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Aaron at least country. Kids. Jessica Lemon, old traffic cop. So, I know they be hitting up those Abrams a lot. Mama D, I want to get a. I thought Herring's only in season for like, like two to hey, four weeks. Scott Johnson, year. see this is this is good stuff. Scott, she says he says. Uh, Oh, the grill, oh, yes. the grill in Edwards yes. Pharmacy in Aiden makes an awesome cheeseburger. Yes, they do. See, that's that's there. what we want. We want everything, but that's that right there. The pharmacy who makes a little good food in the back that you don't know about. Some good stuff right there, man. Yeah, yeah. Yes. They have a whole cafeteria there. They do have that's a whole so cafeteria. Cool, man. It's so good. We gotta go. Their breakfast is good too. So Skylight Inn barbecue Their and, chicken and salad in the there. Edwards Pharmacy in Aiden. Skylight Inn shipped um, barbecue to President Bush. Are you kidding me? Does he have a taste tester, like to make sure it's not? Yeah. Sure do do have, presidents have that? He has a member guy. Yeah. He was there a couple of years ago. Really? Adam Richman is that his name? Yes. Yes. I, I used to love that show. What? Well, oh, through the end of Man versus yeah. Okay. Oh, it, do they have it every day? Jessica Lemon, you are so right about the Baker's Kitchen in New Bern. That place is good. Have you ever been? I've never had oh. hearing Mama D. New Bern. Beyond me. Man, I love that song. Toby Mac, Beyond Me, is awesome. Man, yes. you are hanging out with Beyond Limits Morning Crew. Our live stream is off the hook. Oh, you better believe morning. it, man. People love some food. They oh. do, man. That's the key to everybody's heart, I feel, Those is food. Because everybody food, gets food. hungry. Yeah. I mean, and then, of course, we got so many great eateries here in eastern North Carolina, especially the area that we have the most contact with. Washington, Greenville, New Bern, Pitt, Beaufort, Craven, all these little in-between wow. county cities, these little hole-in-the-wall places. Yeah. So much That's culture so involved. And I can identify with so many of the restaurants that have been you know, suggested yeah. to us on the And I like stream. that because it doesn't come like in bulk 
frozen. Right. Like they make it yes. there. They yeah. order a hamburger and That's make it important. there or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. Be. I love it. Love and it see, so it's, 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 see, I love it because I'm hearing about places that I've been to. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing about places that I've been to, but not enough. Yep. And then I'm hearing about places that I've never been to. So it's exciting. Some of these we've never even heard of. No, yeah, but no. I can guarantee we're going to visit there. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. I'm telling you I guys, if you're listening either. to the radio and you're wondering what we're talking about, if you don't have a good idea by now, we are starting a new show called Beyond Limits Eats. And it's just a show where we're basically going to go around to your local hot spots and eat their food and mm-hmm. basically just pump them up, man. Yes. Pump their brand and get their name it's out be there. So much and we're fun. Gonna, too. Oh, man, I can't wait. I'm going to enjoy it so much. So the way you can help us is by getting up here. If those places that you suggest to us happen to have a Facebook page, tag them. Tag them. That yep. way they'll know what we're doing. Perhaps tag they'll reach it. out to us or, or we'll go ahead and reach out to them. It's quite possible that somebody's going to reach out to us that we already planned on reaching out to because we've had a ton of suggestions. Oh, this it's morning. been so much fun. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to. I'm hey, excited. You know what else is fun? Yes. Tell me. Tell getting me. shot. What? Say that, that again. <laughs> getting shot. Zero percent of that is true. What a 20. T- so we're talking dumb <laughs> criminals this morning. All right. So you've heard those stories where they're like uh, two buddies sitting on a back porch and it's it, <laughs> doing dumb stuff. So these two guys were sitting on their back porch. They were hanging out and. One of them had a bulletproof vest, and the other one had a twenty-two rifle. Oh, I see where this is going. Yeah, Come and on. they said, hey, man, look, i tell you what let's do. You put on the vest, and then I'll shoot you <laughs> and see if it's really bulletproof. So they did. This is what they did, y'all. They put on the vest. Dude shoots the guy. It hurts. It doesn't go through the vest, but it hurts. So the guy who gets shot gets mad. So when it's, I, yeah. When, when it's the other guy's turn to put the vest on, the other guy puts the vest on. Instead of shooting him one time, he unloads the entire clip in his back of his vest. Pop, 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 pop. And then so that's a, so <laughs> that that is all bizarre and stupid. So they get arrested. <laughs> but you know, you, I, I want to commend you, sir, for your language and your accent that you use. You he, he went but there. But you should have yeah, committed said, to said, it. You didn't I, commit to it fully. You let go of it like right there at the last. I did because you, you know I. I didn't want to go too far. With no, it. you weren't going to go too far, but you did good. The best hey, man, part of that story, the best part, yes. was watching Corey's expression, expression <laughs> as you're telling the story. <laughs> the the be- bewilderment oh, yeah. in I, his face. Who sh- I just love that Jared was in character. Good idea. It was good. He went in character. Stuff, I've never met that Jared before, but I really think I'd like to hang out with well, him. Well, Jared is a character. <laughs> so when, when Jared's character becomes another character, that's just woo. That's I'm lost. I don't wax. know what to do. I just think it's funny when two guys say, "Hold my beer, I'm going to shoot you." Well, you got a you you got you got a bulletproof vest, and I got a gun. Let's have a good time. Let's like, do no, it. Let's One, not. two, three, draw. Apparently, oh, decisions were made. So yeah, these stories, ones. y'all. These stories keep getting better and better and better. So if you're pulling into work, have a great day. Make somebody smile by telling them one of these stories. And I can't decide if the next story is dumb or strange. You will find out when we come back on 98.3 The Bridge. Dude. Hey, y'all. That's the funniest story to me. Like, hey, dude. That's just crazy. Let me shoot you. This is All right. Shoot you. So Stop we got me. a lot of stuff to catch up on on a live feed. Let's see here. Yep. Try to get to all of them. Let me. We need to know where we need to eat. Hey, prayer request. Yes. Can we stop for just a second for yeah, prayer request? Yeah, we got to have that. Let's go yeah. ahead. So Jennifer Page Moore. Yes, I agree with that. Jennifer Page Moore. He is on a tag. I have felt that myself. Um, let's see. She had my eight month old having pink eye and other things transpired throughout the week, and now I'm taking him back to the doctor. Because he has a 101 to 101.4 fever all night. Please lift my son up in your prayers. Done. Done. We'll be done, Jennifer Moore. We are sorry yep. to hear that. Yep. Hey! We're writing that prayer request down right now. You want to just stop and do it now? We might get some more, so we're going to do it yeah. um, yep. at the very end. Jennifer Good. Page Moore, um, we're going to write that down, and we're going to uh, do a prayer over the... And then uh, the War of Special Forces for Teens. That's, yep. Like, yep. Put yep. that on there. Uh, Stephanie Slate, if you're still on here... Stephanie rides her bike like 100 miles a day. That's and, a lot. Yeah, I might have over-exaggerated a little bit, but she rides and rides and rides and rides. Um, and so she comes across all these places, like good places to eat out in the middle of nowhere. So if you're still on, Stephanie, Pitt County, Beaufort County, like we need to know local businesses where we can go eat. Yes. We're going to do a... 
um, a, a show with that. We're going to introduce our audience to them. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be fun. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm excited. Look at all these folks. Prayer Just, request. Look at all this. But see, that what I love about our, our followers, man, is now everybody's lifting her up in prayer, and that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay. You good with that? Yeah, I'm good Would you with like that. Some more, sir. I'm good, man. Okay. Some, okay. some some honey. Hey, peanut butter. Hey, honey peanut butter. Okay. Hey, hey. Very good. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. There you go. I couldn't eat them all day though. Hey, Jeremy Smith. Butter. Good morning, bro. I could probably. I'm a peanut butter guy. Elizabeth Mosley. What? My She's, wife is watching? She is. Hey, don't tell her I'm eating anything healthy. She'll never believe it. Oh, my goodness. Liz is eating something healthy. No, I just I don't tell her. Deadwood is good. Um, Deadwood and Williamston. Jessica Lemon. Deborah. Aunt Deborah. Aunt Debs. We prayed for her aunt on uh -huh. Monday. Yeah. She had hip surgery. Mm -hmm. And it went well. That's good. That's really Praise good. Praise God. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Good. Can we do a, High five? a three five? Come on, somebody. Fifteen. That was really good. Everybody. That was surprisingly good. You don't get the amount of was. smack. Yeah. Um, Court, hey, 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 Norman, if you bring them, Jared's going to eat them all. I'm on a bit of a diet because Paul and I have a half marathon. Norman, I'm never on a diet. Yep. Oh, crud. Scott Johnson, Confection Connection. So, oh, Coach Wartecki, my man. Good to see you watching this morning, brother. Love you, man. Hope you're doing good. But Scott Johnson. So the Confession Connection, I told you, I went there for Valentine's Day <coughs> and bought Diani a cake. Yeah. Um, and it was heart-shaped, and it had, like, rose petals for the icing. It was really beautiful. He's right. That place is uh, really good. Coach Wateki, I have uh, a nice case of matte burn on my face. That's what's on my face. Yeah. You know, my mom texted me when she was watching the live she, Yeah, she said, what happened to your face? Son. So, yeah. She calls you son. I yeah. like that. That's cool. So, you know, yeah, but that's what's up. You know I got baby skin, man. You remember you coached me in wrestling. I got that baby skin. Hey, y'all want to see? This, hey, this story is about to come up and just, it's not next, but it is coming up. So I'm going to tell y'all about it. These two youngins right here, they go in to rob a bank. Got your butt whooped. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Get it out. No, just no, get bro. it. You need to I did get it not out. get my butt whooped. It, well, I mean, I have before, but that it just be happening. How dare you? You know the deal, Coach Wateki. My oh, man. Okay, you can continue. These young men, right up here, they decide they're going to rob a bank. Instead of putting on a mask, they decide that they are going to color their face with permanent marker so that they will be unrecognizable. Uh-huh. Oh, man. You showed me the picture of them, man. Let me see that. They, it should be on your screen. It's delayed. It'll probably pop up there. It's pretty bizarre and stupid. But hey, what are you gonna do? De hey, Deborah Cherry, I I would switch sides, but you know, you guys, hey, you know, scars tell us a lot about people, and this ain't a scar, but hey, you know, I'm proud of this. I actually felt good, man. Hey, I hope you are y'all laughing at me. Yeah, they're laughing at you. Doggone it! But I'm gonna tell you, it wasn't a bank. These guys broke into an apartment. This is Joey Miller and his friend. Matthew McNeely. Uh-huh. Wonderful names. Wonderful names. Definitely not the names of people who put permanent marker on their face. God, man. You know, that's crazy, dude. They decided to put on disguises. Oh, I can't wait to tell this story. And by disguises, we mean they covered their faces in permanent marker. The thing about permanent marker is it's well, permanent. it's permanent, guys. Well, no, no, that stuff will come off the skin. Yeah, but not while the cops are looking for you within the next oh, three no, minutes. Yeah. No doubt. After the burglary, the pair was pulled over by police and immediately recognized because of their hair. Just kidding. They were, they were recognized because they had permanent markers mm. all over their face and taken to jail. Yeah, that's the thing about permanent marker. It's permanent. It's permanent. Norman Kirk says you got a baby face, Corey. Norman Kirk, Corey said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> oh, and I'm not real sure he's got, well. Oh, look at Aunt Deborah. Aunt Deborah bringing in some <laughs> solid. 
who's Aunt Deborah? She's about to be up on your screen. Bringing in some um, solid scars, dude. That's Mama D, not Aunt Deborah. <coughs> I'll call her what I want to call her. Right. She is like the mama of the show. She's yes, Mama D. Okay, well we're not brothers, so she's my aunt. We are brothers. Corey. What's up? So, Deborah. Yes. Mama D. That's what she told us to call her. She offered some advice to you. Come on, what's up? Well, it's not even advice. She just put some. I want to hear it. She just put some nice look, look, over look, look, like scars look, 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 do tell a lot reminders where you've been but that healing is there oh that could be a great topic but that healing is there. that it could be a great topic i like that why don't you go ahead and like the next one too mama d i'll put it up mama there. d so you prefer mama d got you nobody listens to me hey mama d. <laughs> Mom, nobody listens to me that's like it's like i'm just a loud voice in the corner that nobody she pays put it again to. for clarification <laughs> places to have we missed eat. any? Have we missed any places yeah, to probably eat? probably so. Man. Guys, make sure that you're sharing too, because uh, some of these places that if they get tagged, um, just a better way for them to sh see it. Let's see here. Hold up. Who's this? Hey, scars can be beautiful. Remember that scars are part of proof of our salvation. Come on, Scott Johnson. It's way a bit. Oh my God. Wait when a you do it that way, I can't reach your hand, dude. Man. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Man. Uh, hey, where can we go? What is Kirk talking about? What's the next one? What did he say? He, he said, you live your life. I'm in my lane. He heard you. <laughs> he could hear you in other And room. he said, I'm in my lane. You live your life. I'm in my lane. Lest I will go skydiving and not have a moment. <laughs> <laughs> the man said lest. <laughs> that sounds like a word you would use. What did you say earlier? I said you. I said stay in your oh, lane man. and no. don't tell me how to live my life. You said something from can the I first download century. This? Can, can we download this afterwards? Can I do like a YouTube video? No, I can download he, it. No, so he I'm going to do that. And I'm going to clip out him saying something to Norman. Yeah, I think he was trying to tell me like I need to put something on my story. Oh, baby. And, I was like, ah. and I was just like, don't tell me how to live my life. Hey, Mr. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's Vera's? Vera's. Vera's a Danny Bunting. What's Vera's in Vanceboro? Can you give us a brief description? Yeah, it's I've never a been. restaurant, and it's in Vanceboro. Is it really? Jared? What, what do they have there? Uh, they have. Um, do you not know? Are you gonna Mexican make something cuisine. up right now? Mexican. Cuisine. <laughs> He's making it up. Do they really? You don't. He tried know, to you. be. So Jared tried to be a smarty pants. <laughs> Jared is. <laughs> and he just. <laughs> and what? <laughs> what? And what? <laughs> Oh, Cheers. Sorry. God bless you. You it's know what I'm saying? No, you, you got that one. There oh, God, goes. that's hot. What's next for you? Oh, money. Wow. How much time we got, Joe? 18 minutes. Tell me we got enough time. Minutes. How Man. much? 20 minutes. <laughs> Four minutes. We got Four time minutes. for this story. Guys, Four. I'm going to pop something up on the screen. Yes. Let's talk about it. Here we go. Let's talk about this one. Let's right talk here. about it. I'm going to get Danny's comment off. Let me uncover Corey's face and stick it up in the top. Whoa, Perfect. Maybe you should. Now, this is a Google Ooh. map. You, have y'all seen that Google car that rolls around uh -huh. and it's got the cameras uh -huh. on the top and it's constantly spinning? Have you seen that, Joel? I've been behind that one day. Yeah, me too. Oh, really? Yeah. What you, uh -huh. what you talking about? Like, so Google Maps. Yeah. They got this Ooh. car that rolls around. It's like a little, like, uh, not a skate, but it's a little car, and it's got a ton of cameras on the top, and it's constantly spinning the cameras. Right. Yeah. And what it's doing is recording the street view. So when you click on Google Maps and you click on street view, it's recording all the images you're going to see. Well, they are riding by, the Google Maps is riding by this lawnmower store. You see the lawnmower up there? I see the lawnmower up, up there. there. So it's up there. Lawn, lawnmower store, right? It's up there. And, mine. um... Apparently, that store had been robbed. Some people had stolen some lawnmowers out of there when they were closed. Yeah. And the police, looking, I mean, they didn't expect, they were looking for the street view, just looking for the view of uh, the store for their report. And when they click on it, they get these two young gentlemen robbing the store in the act. They were robbing the store when the Google car drives by, takes pictures of them, because that's what it does, Uploads it so if you Google this address, this is what's going to pop up. I love That's it, crazy. So That's they were awesome. caught. 
by and, the Google and car. And the crazy thing about the Google car, the Google car, is it comes around maybe like once every three years. That's, yeah, that's that happened right then. Yeah, I mean, it's that's crazy. And God these said, guys, not today, Satan. These guys say, "Hey, dude, hey, there's a Google car. Hey, I bet they're waving at him. Man. That's like, crazy. Hey, there's a Google car. I've always, man. And I've always been fascinated by how that Google car can take pictures like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hey, yeah. Coach Wojtek, um, said. He's pretty sure he beat the side out of you and drug your hey, face on the you know last time you Hey, you know where this station is, Wojtek. I'll just leave it at that. You know where this station is. Hey, Ooh, that's all. That's a challenge. That is a challenge. Oh. Oh. All right, coming fight, up after uh, Beyond Limits Eats is Beyond Limits Wrestling, yeah. where Corey gets his butt kicked I'll, by Coach Wojtek. Man, you done lost your – this cheese done slid right off your cracker. <laughs> I'm gonna jump right off the top rope on I've that man. I've never heard that one. Hey, he says there are no ropes. Let's um. There are no ropes. Yeah. Wrestling, we're not talking WWE wrestling. WWE, I'm telling you, man. Yes, Yoders. Somebody we love Yoders. Yoders. It, yes, it's been Yoders. Yoders. Homemade butter, butter, yeah. churn, butter, butter. Ooh, Scott make your arm roll back Stanton. in your head, Let's butter. See here. Jeremy Smith says if you Google Kinston. Yeah. Right now, that ha- like it's underwater. They apparently did. Uh, they did their Google update when they had flooded last year. Uh huh. So it's underwater. <laughs> really? Which Dog seems ill advised. Yeah, it is. Why can't? But they, they can't choose when the satellite goes. Hey, Coach Tech, I don't let the old age fool me. You just come on and get you some. I'm tired. Of, hey, the honest talk is too much talking right now. You that's come a, on. Hey, right, that's here. a good old Coach Tech. I'm gonna give you a big old hug, and you ain't gonna be able to get out of it. You understand? Hey, Scott Stan. <laughs> My man, Scott Stan, where's a good place for us to eat? We're starting a new show. That dude will know some places. Yes, you should know some places. All the places, yeah. all the places you've gone and played pipes and drums, you ought to be able to tell us somewhere. So that's what we're talking about this morning. We're starting a new show called Beyond no. Limits Eats. Let us know. It's silent, and you and I both go. You tell him, David. Hey, Norman Kurt. Norman Kurt, don't you dare go He's into co- cahoots hey, with this. Yeah, I told him you ain't doing nothing but, you know, instigating. Oh, no, I mean, uh, I it is One minute. Uh, that was correct. Be- Mama D, I told him to put some uh, sport on it, and you know what he told me? Memento. He told me to let him live his own life. Minoto. Listen here. Oh. I'm going, hey, look. I'm going rolling after this, so. It's my life. It's only going to get worse, people. I'm telling you right now. But rolling? maybe. What's rolling? Grappling. Grappling. Okay. Well, I don't. Don't look at me like. Sorry. A, so how I many pay, people out there know what rolling? I pay a good I'm amount rolling. of. I pay a good amount of Come money. On. Did you know what rolling was? No, he didn't. Nobody yeah, knows I what did. rolling. I figured was. it was wrestling. He won't tell Mama D that. Oh man. Oh, oh yeah. D. Why do mamas want to come in here? Coach was. Don't make no sense. How much time? Coach, what's that? What in the world? Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Hey, keep comment, guys. Let us know those restaurants. We need to know those restaurants. Five, four, three. Good morning, Washington. You paused. I looked at you, and you were like, "Oh boy!" So I, I hopped in. That was good. Joel, see, they can't hear Joel. Joel has his own microphone muted when he's doing the countdown. And he did it really special this time. He gives us a countdown. He goes, normally it's five, four, three, two, one. And yeah. this time he goes, five, four, three, two, one. I'm <laughs> telling you. Man. A weird place. You, are, you, up every I, now and then. you have a lot of, we're going to start. What's that guy's name? Reggie. No, Reggie. No, I'm, well, technically I'm Reggie. Reggie. But no. You know, we're just going to call you the magician. Reginald. You got a lot of tricks up your yeah. sleeves. Joe Money. Got to. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, if you're listening mandatory. to this show, <laughs> mandatory. I know that's right, brother. I'm telling you. But if you're listening this morning, we are having a stellar show. We got a new edition coming up soon. Yeah. Beyond Limits Eats. That is the topic for today. And we want to know, <laughs> where should we go eat, people? Where should Beyond Limits go to eat? All There's the new hot spots, stellar. the old hot spots, the privately owned establishments. We're not talking about the franchise businesses here. We're talking about places that good personable people privately own. We're talking about the Skylight Inn barbecues. We're talking about the Bills hot dogs, the Warren's hot dogs, all these places around Pitt, Beaufort, and Craven counties, east of North Carolina. Guys, let us know. <laughs> this is a huge hit. People are going crazy. Over could you thing. hear my chair? Yes. That was happening? Yes. You, Joel couldn't hear it. Yes, you could hear your it chair. It was just annoying, Jared. I'm just getting my step counts in. Y'all don't worry about me. If <laughs> burning you calories. What, burning <laughs> calories. I, I like to keep my heart at a park. Well, you, par. better, you better do it now, man, because all these places, we got a lot of places we need to go yeah. eat. You're going to be getting kind of fat, brother. Yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you have to get be, your you're, workout you're, in, you're yo. You're going to have to really, you know, do some cardio. Yeah. I, yeah. You are going to have to get your so, workout in. This 
day yeah. that the Lord has made. We are talking about stupid criminals. Yes. Just criminals who have done something. And this next headline, man, I was looking at it, and it, it didn't make sense, and then I realized that it was Amish, uh-huh. and then it made complete sense. So you could probably outrun yeah, this. Yeah, if it's one horse be power, hard. I suppose. Uh, but the, the, the title is um, Amish Youth Leads Police on Low Speed <laughs> Chase. Oh, <boy. laughs> so uh, <laughs> Levi, with a standard Amish name, Dip Will Iyer, uh, a 17-year-old Amish youth ran a stop sign while riding his horse and buggy. Oh, my gosh. Which began a mile-long, low-speed chase <laughs> with the local police department. This happened? I, listen to the <laughs> this charge. This really happened, dude. This is a real charge up north, uh, apparently. Levi was charged with overdriving an animal. I, that's not a real charge. That Over, is a fake charge. Overdriving an animal and making this list way too well, what easy. What state was this? To write. I would guess Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, yeah. That's what I was thinking. It's got to be. That's the majority. Yeah. That's where most of them, you know, yeah. are up there. I think Ohio, too, maybe. But still, I'm, I'm picturing this <laughs> in my mind. And But you see, I wonder. Amish like, people are everywhere, dude. They're well, not, like, located in one particular well, area. They are no, you it's like saying, where place. are the Americans at? Well, they're, are they all in North Carolina? No, I, I've where are the rednecks at? Are they all in? Has a, there's a big there area is, up there. Is, Amish there country. Is, yeah. That's why it's called Amish country for a reason. Because my parents went up there. Yeah. They just got that. That RV and they went up there to go look because it's apparently beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. I've been there and it is. You were talking gorgeous. about it not too yes. long ago, but uh, I have wondered like how does law enforcement interact with them because they they have their own community yeah. within itself, mm-hmm. so they don't really do the same things that the general public. But I don't like, think that do they? Have, I don't think they have their own law. I don't think that, officers. but still, it's got to be an interesting LEOs. thing to tackle. You know what I mean? Yeah. So interesting. All right, different. <laughs> hey, we are not leaving. Just yet, because we are unfinished. Unfinished. (laughs) You like how I did that? I like how you did that. This next song song coming up is awesome. It is Mandiza, Unfinished. Don't go anywhere. No, you're good. You're good. I was going to get it, but don't worry about it. How's it going? It's a true story, man. True story. Leads them on a low-speed chase. On a horse and buggy. On a horse and buggy. Like, is he saying giddy up? Gavin, 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 Gavin. <laughs> we love, we love your grandmother. We call her Mama D. Mama D. Thank you for hanging out with her this morning and in turn hanging out with us. That's wild, man. I'm looking at these people that drew on their face. Farm boys. That's gracious. Farm boys in Bellhaven. That we've, they've been on, they somebody, be on the list. Somebody said something yeah, about they them should earlier. Be on the Farm, who not, said that? Archie Gilmer, Archie Gilmer, Archie Gilmer. I know my man will know somewhere. Archie Gilmer, if you're just now getting on, we're starting a new show called Beyond Limits Eats. And every now and again, I don't know, maybe I'm feeling like maybe twice a month, who knows, maybe more. We're going to be going around to local places to eat, suggested by our listeners and followers. So, brother, do you know of anywhere we can go and eat that's really good? Let us know. We're going to be going there and filming. Brenda Carroll, good morning to you, ma'am. So we call we call her Mama D. Gavin calls her Nanny. 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 Nanny, you say? Nanny, I say. Woo! That was scary. Woo! That wasn't that was scary to me. Was, I trust you. Yeah, but that was you still. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Farm boys, that sounds fun. Hey, side note, if y'all got if y'all have any prayer requests, we pray at the yeah, end of these shows. So get them up there. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be Jennifer Moore, we're gonna be praying for your for your so- child and uh, we have a little, few more. Don't we have a couple more prayer requests? Do we know? Uh praise praise report. Praiseworthy, we got yeah. praise reports, but at the end of the show we will be having a prayer session trying to lift everybody up. Look this one, it, this one's not <laughs> What's going on in here? There she goes. So, it's up there. So every year my the dealership that I was previously employed with, the Hubert Vester Auto Group, we um, we take place, we take part in uh, shop with a cop. So we donate so much money to um, to the police department in Wilson County and in um, Runner Crap is what county is Runner Crap? That's where this story comes in that he's about to talk yeah. about. So Some uh, so what what you do? Lady. It's really awesome what our what our police departments do is they take 
these kids who who aren't going to have a, a big Christmas. Yep. They give them money. They go to Walmart and they say you can buy this much money, this much dollars worth of stuff. And usually, and I've seen these stories time after time. Most of the time, these kids end up buying for the family, so they they're buying food. So this last year in Wilson County, they did two. They said we're giving you, uh, you know, so much money for food, and the rest of it we want you to spend on on stuff for you, Christmas stuff. Yeah. Because these kids are so tender hearted and they really want to make sure their Called family's shop taken there. With a cop. Shop with a cop. Well. This particular mother, right here, did not understand the shop with a cop part, That's and she story. thought it was shop lifting. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So my oh, mama no here, not my mama. This mama, during a shop with a cop event, where her son, her child, was being given free stuff her child. from the police department in the community that they're involved in. Decided that she wanted free stuff. How you gonna shoplift when you're with a cop? Dude! Let's just. Halifax, thank you. I say no. I say no. Don't do that. We're gonna grab this Halifax camera. I don't know, dude. Like, you know. It's just the dumbest thing I've ever. It, like. Come on, man. Well. Just. I, like, well, you know, people? it's sad to say. I, I. We don't do pessimism on this show. All I say is I'm Whoa. not surprised. But you, know, heard, you know what? I've heard that from you like multiple times. Seven. Today. I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Because I'm not. That's because we're dumb. Yeah. We're dumb yeah. criminals, you'll never be surprised, man. I had a dude who broke into a house. I'm tracking him down with a dog. He hides in a ditch and covers himself with mud, thinking yeah. that the K9 ain't going to find him. Fine. What it did you gay. say? What did I say? Yeah. Uh, at the end of it, I said. Put your hands behind your back because that's only No, when you realize what he was trying to do. Oh, he bit him. Oh, he bit him. Yeah, oh, that, man. that's how he found him. Surprise, found you. So he didn't really say much of anything. It was in the ditch. There was a lot of yelling. It was a lot of yelling. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't see him. I mean, kudos for him, but it was by um, Best Road. <laughs> you go past B's Barbecue, there's a uh, housing oh, project yeah. on the left. He broke into one of the projects. He ran around, and there's a big ditch. <laughs> that and he crawled into the ditch and covered himself with mud. You still put off scent. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Dog That's went up. crazy. Hey. Got them all up in the list. Jeremy legs. Smith, Rachel K's Bakery is amazing. King yes. Chicken Cheese Biscuit or Lunch Brownie Bakery yeah. has awesome donuts. Wait, hey, Jeremy, where are these places at? I know Rachel Washington. K's is in Washington. Is, is King King's Chicken? King's in Washington, too. Is, what about okay. the Brownie Bakery? I don't know. Where's the? It's, it's in, in Washington. Washington. Yeah, all Washington. Yeah, all Washington. Wow, man. Wow. Washington got a lot. Hey, we are talking. Where can we go eat? We're looking for locally King's? owned establishments. King's Chicken. King's Chicken. That we can go Chinese. and do a Coming Beyond Chinese. Limits no. Eats. We can right spotlight the place we're King going chicken. to eat King. at, King. and um, and then we can and then we'll eat. So it'll be a it's, it's a it's a win win. It's a win win. Hey. Mama D, you tell Gavin to have a great day as yes, well. Thank absolutely. you. Have Thank a you. great day, Gavin. Thank him for thinking of us. And I agree. You can't fix stupid. I agree with Coach Wotecki. You can't fix. Can I call him Coach Wotecki? You call whatever you coach. want to. You're a grown man. Dude. Hey, Coach <laughs> Wotecki, you ain't got to worry about coming up in here and whooping Corey's butt because I'm about to do it. Oh, I want to see. I want to see. I'm just kidding, man. I'm going to get my, get my <laughs> step. Hey, guess who just joined? I just joined. Billy Parker, although I can't tell if it's Callie and Billy Parker, uh, but we had some people drop Parker's Barbecue yes. up in this comment section. That might be place. our, that, we hey, use that as our first place. We're talking about uh, Coach Wateki. He just said something I haven't heard. Whiskey Pig in Kinston. Anybody nope. heard of that? Nope. Coach Wateki, what's up with this place? Is it really good? Whiskey Pig sounds like a barbecue. Dude, my, I hope it's. We're in Eastern North Carolina, man. I hope it's understood. My favorite food is barbecue, bro. Have you ever tried South Carolina barbecue? No. Hey, how's it compare? It's disgusting. It's like mustard based. Banging brisket. Oh, so this bangin'. is a banging brisket. So this place is, is this like an Eastern Carolina spot? Or is it like style? Or is this like, sounds like West Texas, baby. I had barbecue in Hawaii. And they cook it underneath the, like they take the hog. Yeah. And they wrap it in uh, like palm leaves, yeah. right? And they Put it in the sand. sand. Well, I heard it's good. good. It is very good. Yeah, they but call it a luau. Though. Yeah, it, it was. We got to do a luau. Well, they don't call that. They call that barbecue, but it's done at a luau. It's really good. Yeah, man. Yeah. That sounds awesome, man. That's a good stuff. Banging brisket. I brisket Parker's, is good, man. I had Parker's earlier. Yeah. Earlier this week. Did you? Mm-hmm. 
It's a lot of barbecue places I'm not going to lie. Greenville, man. I came in here this morning thinking that we were going to run seven miles. So I got a little bit of energy. That's I'm the sorry. only reason I bought we, these. We will, just not this morning. Because I got to start, man. I, so I joined this place. I got I pay a hefty membership price, and I've only been there five times. Can we offer the last fitness three weeks. tips? You want to offer fitness tips? Oh, uh, yeah. Who? Y'all want to hear a fitness tip from me? <laughs> yeah, give them a fitness tip. I want to hear I'll it. say this. So look. I, I'm enjoying Never this. Never trust the fat kid for the fitness tip. Um, it's a butcher shop and restaurant. That sounds like an interesting place, Coach Wood. Butcher, so the Whiskey Coach Pig Wood. in Kinston. Huh? My man, yeah. Coach, Coach Wood, Wood, baby, that's what we used to call him, Coach Wood Wood. You call him whatever you want to, you're a grown man. I don't think we ever really <laughs> called him Wood Wood. Somebody probably did at some point. I probably did, but Coach Wood. Either Wood Techie, Coach Wood Techie, or Wood Techie. called him Wood Wood. Yeah, man. I've Dude. always called him Coach Wood Techie. I've never called I don't think I've ever called that man by his first name since I've been an adult. Yeah. Um, Haddock's Barbecue? Somebody know, mentioned man. it earlier. Haddock's Barbecue. Somebody mentioned it earlier. Yes. Koi Trip. Haddock's Barbecue. Yeah. Did you get that down? County Home we're, Road. So we're going to have to go back through after the live stream, and we're going to have to write down all of these places. I will poo. Be- <laughs> I lost my page. We're to write down all. Because there are, there's there way more than what you Haddock's. have on there. Yeah, there's way more than what you have on there. So y'all have probably given us... 50 different places to eat, and Paul barbecue? has four wrote no, down. No, that's not true. Four. It's hard. They're coming four. in so fast. Four. Haddock's Barbecue. But we and also three of Parker's. them are Parker's. <laughs> yeah. Parker's Barbecue. See, the owner of Parker's Barbecue, Billy Parker, he actually works there on Sundays on his Memorial Drive address, and he'll go out and hang out with his with the people yeah, who are going there. It's really good. You know, I told um, I was talking to somebody yesterday. We I was about too. Parker. Weren't it you was, talking it to was somebody? Me and you. About what? It was me so and you. You're gonna ruin no, my joke. Um, and and we were talking to Parker's, and I said, you know why I like supporting Parker's because they're generally good people. We mm-hmm. went on a. Elizabeth went out of town back in January, and her and Callie know each other. Yeah. And Callie calls her up and says, "Hey, I saw where you're going out of town. You want to, you and me send some food with Callie you?" Callie is. You gotta explain. Callie is Billy's wife. Billy's, Billy's wife. wife. The owner of Callie and Billy Parker. Yeah. Billy's wife. And they just, they do a <laughs> lot. They do a lot for the community. Uh, they're just we. I love I love. Spotlighting businesses where yeah. the owners and it's good barbecue. They got the best yes. coleslaw. Well, man, man you where know, the owners think, are man, good people. These owners, you know, these, that's why I'm so excited about Beyond Limbs. Mm-hmm. It's just what you're talking about right now because you can spotlight it for them. And, right. and they're not the only one. They're great, not, but they're not the only great owners yeah, out there. It's not. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I'm right. saying, but it's not just great food. But people go back and they go back and they go back. But let's be honest, you can get great food in a number of places. Yep. But it's something I love where you're going here. It's a little bit something more to to these places that people continue to go to, man. Like these places are like but kinda of like legends in their community. You yeah, know what legend. I'm saying, man? Yeah. I'm, you think I'm about a, think about all think about all the, the barbecue spots in Greenville. What's I'm just thinking number? barbecue. Huh? Our phone number. Two five two you put it on here. Um, it is two five two four nine five overlays. Two five two four nine five zero zero two four. All right, say that one more time. Two five two four nine five zero zero two four zero two four. And watch. What, what color do y'all like? Pick a orange. Color. I don't want orange. What color do y'all like? Pick a color. Orange. Yeah, I don't like it. So, really the question is, what color do you like? Blue. We're going with blue. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Blue hold on. Well, I got to go with orange. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going with orange. First of all, Amanda yeah. Paramore, yes. Yoder yes. cinnamon rolls. Yes. 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 I'm going to tell you something. And the, yes. The few times I've been to Yoder's, the wait is usually so long because I'm too lazy to get out yeah. of bed early enough. <laughs> yeah. But I'll get a cinnamon roll while I wait. I don't even know okay. where to put Delicious. this. We get one of those. Second, Archie, Archie, <laughs> Archie Gilmer. Uh, Hardison's Barbecue, man. I'm telling you, these folks know what I like. I love some good barbecue. Ring? But he said Hardison's Barbecue in Janesville. It's on the street. But I got a it's question for Archie Gilman. Give him a question. What you know about good barbecue, young man? Look at him. What you know about some good Blue, barbecue? You're right. Blue probably I'm going to see what he says because I don't know if he's going to remember I it would, this. I think it would have faded. That dude, man. Uh, uh, what Archie Gilman, what you know about some good what barbecue? What you know about barbecue, Archie? What you know about good barbecue? What you know about Archie? What you know, Archie? If he know? responds, I'll tell y'all a short story. That's funny. Because I don't know. I, I feel like I've told you this before. Archie Gilmer and, were, and I were in the Academy. Yeah. Um, because Academy! Because we talked about how much I love the name Archie. Yeah. We were. We were that in the Academy together. And that guy was that a That is trip. a good name. And, um, 
We said a name yesterday that was a solid name too. Solid. Jared. Sorry. It wasn't Jared. It was um, and it wasn't Terry. Although Terry was a good name. Um, we did talk Terry yesterday. We did talk Terry. Where is is that in Washington? Kings? Did you say Kings Chicken's in Washington? Scott Johnson, what you know about Kings Chicken? Scott Johnson, what you know about Kings Chicken? I ain't never See, been. I kind of is it fried? Know is, it is it just is that, is that what they're known for? Ooh. Fried? So it's cook, country food. So I was just I was just thinking about repeating everything that Corey they said. They don't have what? They don't have tables. Tables. You know, like more really? dramatic yeah. way. Um, which reminded me of what my kids do sometimes when they when they repeat each other and how annoying it is. Yes. Which reminded me that tomorrow we're talking about things all kids do. Yeah. Yes. So if you think yes. that your kids do something, you're like, I can't believe he's doing that. Probably somebody else's kid is doing it too, and we're talking about that tomorrow. You are not alone. We hey, need to play I that song. Am. You I'm are not alone. I'm telling you. I'm hey. here. So uh, Archie Gilmer, find, he responded. I knew he would. He said, all this weight didn't get put back on a bit by chance. I did this with a, with a four and some barbecue. Don't believe me? Just scroll my Facebook page. So Archie, that was that was just watch. That was bait that I knew you take, and I know you took on purposely. But I remember one time. I don't know if you recall. One time, me and he were in, me and we Is were this in a short uh, story. Yes, Boom. we were in uh just talking in class one day during a break, and he he mentioned so I think. Archie, aren't you from like out west somewhere before you got here? I don't know if he saved from Kansas. That I might have misremembered that anyway. But anyway, he claimed he knew about some Roger some good Clemens. barbecue. Thanks, he, Roger Clemens. Yeah, seriously, he was like um, he was like uh, yeah, we're about to go make some barbecue. I said, excuse me. He was like barbecue. I was Who said like, that? Archie? are you saying barbecue? Is he from up north? I don't know where he's from. No, he's not from up north. Definitely not from up north. But uh, he was like barbecue, and I was like. Barbecue? He was like, barbecue. I'm like, nah, bro, barbecue. He was like, nah, barbecue. But no, it was so funny for him to say. You can't say, it's like Bill White. You can't say barbecue from up north. Yeah. How much time we got? Like five minutes. Oh. Three minutes. Three minutes and 29 seconds. Oh, man. Dude, I will, I could, man. I just love food in general, and I cannot wait to do this. this. I'll tell you some people who can eat. Marathon runners can eat. I've never eaten so much food. In my oh. life than when we're running a marathon. He's from Alabama. I knew it was somewhere. So yeah, I, I thought know, I was thinking Kansas. Kansas. I thought Kansas for some reason. He's from Alabama. They don't know barbecue in Alabama. Not from Kansas that anymore. One hundred percent. Hey, hey, hey! Well, Texas says watch the North Pump comments, Paul. Oh, I'll watch them. That dude. That Look dude, where you ended up. Look where you dude. ended up. So it's just gonna be. Is it, is it gonna be me and Coach Woe against you and Paul, Corey? Coach, no, is that how this is going to go? Hey, let me tell you something. Trump. He is a prideful I'm just telling you that. He is. Me and you However, him, he knows good and well that he right loves here. the South. He loves being. He, that dude wants to retire to the mountains of North Carolina. I know okay. he does. Either right, that or West Virginia. Right beside you? One of the two. West Virginia or North Carolina. That's like West Virginia. Opposite. North. Cause no, when, well, when, no, when, when you he, say North, I think New York City, Boston, I'm thinking city. When everybody says North, I just assume. Team. Yeah. You better be real. You tag better be waiting match. to do most of the wrestling, though. <laughs> He's going to tag me in. That would be so funny, man. And the, ga- and the games you, will be over. <laughs> that would be so hilarious. Oh, that would man. be so much fun. Don't, yeah. Don't make me come out there and smoke y'all some barbecue. Dude, I'm telling barbecue. you, man. I've been. I'm good, man. Let's, let's do it. No, no, no. You don't want Alabama barbecue. Man. Alabama! I'm, I'm eating. See, let, let, let me tell you something. Tell me something. So, to me... I'm gonna say true barbecue is chopped pork is chopped pork barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Chopped barbecue, vinegar based sauce. Vinegar based. That's but that's that's it. But I I'm not gonna turn away some good old West Texas bris, uh, smoked brisket. Yeah. That's some good stuff, man. That's that's true. Scott Johnson just said something very true. Barbecue up north is an event. Like yeah. we're going to the barbecue. Yeah. Down yeah. here, it's, it's, it like a, it's a, they do say it like that. No, they don't. They they, they do. don't. True barbecue. Yes, barbecue is... So I have nothing to work with. See, here. now good I got to... Richard Osbrook, good morning thing. to you, sir. That's right. That's right. Ooh, I like those. Scott Johnson, you're right. Coach Wateki, I agree <gasps> with you for agreeing with Scott, but let me tell you something. Hey, barbecue Joel. ain't an event down here. Barbecue is an art. Get it. What are you doing, man? What's going on here, Joe? Joe falling asleep on the wheel. Joe Money. Falling asleep on the wheel. 51 seconds. You got 51 15, seconds. 49. Let's count down together. 48. How dare you? 47. That's a long time 46, to count down. 45. 44. 43. 
42. What store is coming 41. up next? Oh, I got a, I, we got a, yeah. his actual post <laughs> we got a text Facebook message. Profile. That is good. Wake up. <laughs> oh, I'm so awake. Down south. I'm awake, baby. And that'll, that'll do voice calls also. Yes. So, in theory, if we wanted to have people on the show with us, they call this number, we record them, and put them on the show. In theory, yes. Like Let me tell you something, man. The the I don't rest with no J.H. Rose. What'd you say? Well, that's pretty cool. She said uh, she's a Matt maid. Oh, Lord. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, Joel. Joel said turn it down. Who's opening? Uh, You. And then Corey can open the last uh, I'm opening? Three, two, yep. one. Yo! East North Carolina, it is awesome. We love you guys so much. Our comment section is off the hook right now. We are, we're about oh, to have a wrestling, awesome. a wrestling match inside the studio between yeah. Corey and everybody. No, it's going to be Coach Wotecki <laughs> and well, me well, you versus know. you, Paul, and Corey. Yeah. My Coach Wotecki. Yeah. That's my man, dude. If you're listening, God bless you, brother. Hope you're doing well getting those J.H. Rose rampants ready for the fall football season. But you know what sparked this? Is our is our hook, <laughs> which is we want people to know where we should eat for it. our new upcoming show and yes. series, Beyond Limits Eats. And of course, you can't live in East North Carolina, talk about something like this and not That's mention right. barbecue. That's right. So of of course, there's going to be different opinions. You know, like what is barbecue? Is it chopped? Is it pulled? Is it brisket smoked? Yeah. You know what I'm going to say. Barbecue. Good old chopped pulled. Good old chopped pulled barbecue. You'd rather have chopped than pulled. Yes, better okay. believe it. It's more flavor, bro. Better believe it. You so, of course, that's what start, just sparked this whole tag team matchup, you know. Dude, we have got some good restaurants up here. Oh, and none of them are corporate restaurants, which is what them. we love. Yeah. We, we didn't want to hear McDonald's, Burger Dude. King. We, we don't want none of that frozen stuff. Uh, it's good, and it's fast, yes. But we when we're, when we're sitting down and we are uh, recording yeah. a show, we want to go to places like mm-hmm. Stand By. Frank's Pizza, Bagel Man, Shep's Grill, D's Grill, Plank's Come Grill, on. Angus Grill, Villa yep. Verde Farm Boys, Yoda Pantry, King Kitchen, Scullery, Haddock's Barbecue, and Parker's. They want to go to a place like that. And that's just a start, man. That ain't even a quarter of yeah. the ones. That's only the ones I could write down that That's fast. just all the ones we're going to eat at the first day. You know what, you know what this tells me? One it, one, it tells me we have awesome listeners and viewers. We do. Love as them. always. Uh-huh. I knew that. That's a given. Yep. But it also tells me that these places are literally jewels in their community because people love them. And you know what else it tells me is people stay hungry. <laughs> like, the, I can tell. I've been to a lot of those places, man. Stay They're hungry, awesome, man. man. There's something you get there that you don't get at a well-known franchise nationwide yeah, restaurant. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It, man, it's just something a little bit more personable, and there's a good craft to what those folks yeah, do. Yeah, and, and we get to know who they are. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. You know what else we get to know? Dumb oh. criminals. Oh, yeah, dude. I love, this next story, Corey. My goodness, man. It, it might be one of my favorites. You I'm, know, I dumb is dumb. Joel. Joel's about to play the music, and I love it. Oh, yeah. Like, cue the music, buddy. <laughs> cue oh, this music. takes me back to when I was like eight years old, and my mom's like, you can't watch that show. No, no. Uh-uh, you can't watch that show. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. That's only she could see so, you now. Guys, we're talking can... about dumb criminals, and we've mentioned a few so far on the show this morning. This next one is a gentleman who just decided oh, yeah. that he was going to use one of dumbest. his mug shots uh, as his Facebook profile so picture, which made it incredibly easy, no surprise, for law enforcement to track him down after he was wanted in connection with an assault. This happened in uh, Citrus County, Florida. So so if I'm hearing you correctly. Which you are. What I'm hearing is that a man who was wanted yes. by the law mm-hmm. is the take takes his mugshot or this wanted poster and puts it up as his Facebook profile. That's correct. So the way <laughs> I'm interpreting this, it happened just like that. But I don't know that, I mean... Basically, they were trying to ID him, probably, <laughs> or, or at least locate him. Maybe they already had him identified, but they were looking because a lot of times yeah, people yeah, yeah. will law like enforcement most track social. Criminals. Yeah, they'll they'll track social media. Once they have him identified, then maybe they can use an IP address if they do a Facebook post or whatever. Yeah. But oh. his, uh, you know, his Facebook profile picture was a previous mugshot of his. Yeah. Not out very smart. Control. He was the wanted of the week, so in celebration of that, he out of put it as his profile. Felony warrant for VOP reference two counts. Yeah. yeah. Not gone. smart, people. Not smart. Yeah, Not smart. Guys, dumb criminals, Beyond Limits Eats, we're talking about all that good stuff. One more segment left in this show. Stand by. Here comes Drops in the Ocean Stand by Hawk Nelson. It just keeps getting better. Dude, this is a anointed show. Straight bro. fire. Come on, somebody. 
Oh, man. So Corey Trump says, all barbecue has its place. I agree. However, Georgia barbecue is no good. Why would you make it with mustard? I can't say that I've had that corn. Never had it. It's a cool name, by the way. It's not good. It's not. Carolina, that's the same. Do, they, what do they do? Is uh, so when they say mustard, Alabama what are they talking about? Barbecue, barbecue is almost yellow. It's almost yeah. Is it a? Is it? So it's not just mustard. Is it a mustard-based sauce? But it's yeah, like it's a you can really taste sauce. the mustard in it. Yeah. So I, you know how like you can get slaw with like a mustard-based slaw or a mayonnaise-based slaw. Same thing. It's like a mustard base. See, some things you can't you can't reinvent the wheel, brother. Well, you, like, know you either got it or you don't. See, but but you got to look at barbecue. You got your mustard or base sauce. Never had it. You got your you got your dry rub. You know your dry sauce, no sauce. No. You got your vinegar based sauce. You got your tangy sauce. I mean tangy. You got it chopped. You got. I mean, it's just. I feel like you're just naming ways. random yeah, things man, and putting I'm sauce I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, so you got Kansas City barbecue. You That's got ketchup based. Tennessee barbecue, which is a tangy. We have tangy, got to. Hey, I gotta, I gotta go downstairs got, and get something real fast, guys. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, see you later, Paul. <laughs> this dude's crazy, man. That might have been the worst thing. So that, that this should this oh, should literally like. this should literally be a hook or our topic for a show one day. No, because what we're is in real barbecue? North Carolina, so the no, we, barbecue's going to be the same. Look, but I've already there. heard differences in opinion. <laughs> That's hilarious. I've already heard differences funny. in opinion from people's preferences. Yeah, Alabama white sauce. Yeah, but no, 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 no. You're not hearing people's preferences. You're hearing where other places do barbecue. Everybody around here's preference is probably vinegar base. Erroneous. Erroneous on all counts. You, I don't think you're right. Okay. Just Georgia, <laughs> called Georgia gold sauce. Yeah, he's using big words. Today. I'm telling you, bro. Um, so, Coach Wateki, Coach Mike, Wateki. Mike's farm. Like Scott Johnson so <laughs> mentioned them to me before. We need to go out there one day, man. Erroneous. Don't they do? Um, Irregardless. Mike's farm. Don't they do Halloween like they pumpkin do. picking? Stuff? I know they do yeah, like Christmas. So, hey, good morning, Nikki. Nikki who? My Nikki mama's Davis. watching again. Hey, Hello, mama. Good morning. Hey, mama. Uh, Nikki, are you uh, settled back in from your vacation? Listen hey, can y'all do us a favor? It always takes me like a week. We have, we have 22 people on right now. Can nobody get off? Because we've never had a late show bump past 30. Because people are getting to work and we get that. So, can you share our show really, really, really quick? I got to go to work. We, we need Absolutely. a late show Bump. I gotta go to work. That'd be awesome. Yo, Archie Gilmer, I agree, man. Um, Thomas Cartwright. Hey, Corey's mom. Cartwright, man. I'm about to see that dude here in a little bit. Hey, get your game face on, Cartwright. Corey's got his roll. game face We're on. We're gonna roll with him later. <laughs> here, after I get done. It looks um, like a bit beat up. Roller friend. By a mat. It's Corey. Cartwright. Corey. From PD. Hey, gee, wear headgear. Yeah, wear headgear, Corey. Nah, I don't be doing that. We ain't got time <laughs> for it on patrol. We ain't got time Thanks, for it. Thanks, Nikki. So, man, my but my one of my buddies, Wayne Smith, my my training officer, man. Yep, it was his favorite saying, man. He was always pushing patrol because he was a patrol officer. And he was training me, so he was trying to get me to understand the pace. I'm sitting there, he goes, when, you're, when you're in training as a cop and you've never done policing before, you're getting a lot thrown at you. Yeah. So he would always be like, We'd all, I get ready to do something. Hey, man, you need to go ahead and get this done. And then I'll go to do something. I'm like, no, 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 we don't need to worry about that. We ain't got time for that on patrol. <laughs> he would say that all the time. It was so funny. We ain't got time for that on patrol. We ain't got time for that on patrol. Man, we had a guy try out for the SWAT team one time. I think this is right before you got on. And my man shows up. So if you're trying out for the SWAT team, it's a long day. That, yeah. that tryout day because you got several people going to show up. Several people want to be on. There's only one or two spots, you know? Yeah. This yeah. dude shows up, and we start the SWAT team tryout at 5 a.m. in the morning. Claude. At ECU's track. Okay. Because okay? the first thing is you got to run one mile, which ain't – it's not much. One mile in full gear. That makes it harder. You know, you got your your your, your thigh rig, you got your heavy vest on, plates in, rifle, sub gun, because we use a nine uh, uh -huh. nine millimeter um, MP five. Uh, helmet, everything. Okay? Gotta run a mile. This dude shows up drinking milk. Oh, he threw all that up. He did. He did he did throw that up. And had to, and uh, had to be taken away in why an did ambulance. He do that? Oh my the ambulance goodness. had to come pick him up. Are you kidding me? In rough shape, man. Yeah. 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 Rough. Is he still working for the police department? Nope. Oh, okay, good. No, no. Did he ever work no. for the department? He did, yeah. You, uh, yeah, he to be on the SWAT team. He yeah, had, had you got to be on how the SWAT team. Had he ever ran before? Yeah, and it was weird because he was a fitness guy. 
Supposedly. He, he put out fitness tips, but he didn't put out fitness tips after that day. That's wild, man. From then on. Like he, Is he, he still to, alive? No, he, uh, yeah, I guess. Like he didn't die from that, right? No, oh, no, 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 no. Yo, so, um, thanks, Nikki. Coach Wotecki, happy birthday to you, man. I just got a notification on Facebook. I, I can't keep up with your birthday, like, all the time. So, thank you, Facebook. <laughs> and happy birthday to David Wotecki. You are the doggone man. You need to come back by. Just pop in one day, man. Just come sit with us. You can be Give on the show. Give a little pop in. You, just, you If we're live and you come in and you start just wrestling Corey yes, while we're live. I just... I'll just get you, man. I'll... What did you do? What did you say? I don't know. You were just horrid. You. You <laughs> but, yeah, no, seriously, man, if you want, just pop <laughs> in, dude. You can either be on the show or you can just sit and watch, man. Come on in here. Happy <laughs> birthday, bro. Eastern North Carolina barbecue, Archie, is not even my favorite, actually. Watch I'm your mouth. Tennessee. I prefer the sauce. You get out of this radio I station. I do. I'm right sorry. Oh my God. Frozen. Hey. I know but, I, but like I said, that's good. Calm right. down. But did you just calm. proved that I was arguing. I know. I was arguing. I was just arguing. I was being argumentative. I know you were. So you agree that there's preferences. Yeah. Yeah. In I fact, can't my stand it when you do that. I love I, Eastern, You know what I want you to do? Just I love sit in the Eastern corner. Eastern North Carolina <laughs> barbecue. I love Eastern North Carolina barbecue. Yeah. But you have a preference. For Tennessee, because that's where I spent. What is Tennessee barbecue? It's just like a saucy, like like you know when you go to Thicker the store sauce. and get barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. That's like you Tennessee. Get lost in the sauce. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no quality. <laughs> What's up? I, with I hear you. That's good. Oh, oh, goodness. You said the video stuff. Yeah, I got, you got it. to work. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, we got a fix. place just it just right down the road from where. Saying that barbecue is done the way you like it is like saying that worshiping yeah. on Sunday morning is the way you do it is the only way. I'm pretty sure that when the prodigal son's father... Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Gilman, boy. Listen Tell to this. I'm pretty sure good. that when the prodigal son's father killed the fatted calf because his son came home, the barbecue was not the same <laughs> as Eastern Carolina barbecue. Just saying. <laughs> Archie Gilman How does he know? Man. Was, were you there, Archie? Mm. I will bring... Hey, Archie were you Gilman. There? On a serious mm, yeah. note, I think Ar- Archie Gilmer, would you be interested in come on the show, bro? Seriously, I think you would. he would be really funny to have on the show. Telling you, man, that comment proves it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny, bro. Archie Gilmer up in this piece. The fatted calf. What y'all saying, man? Y'all got we, problem, man, man? We went, we went from talking about North Carolina barbecue to the prodigal son. I'm telling you, bro. Like it weren't nobody's business. I'm telling you, man. That's what I'm talking about. I love sweet red sauce. Dude, Corey. there are still a. There's still a whole bunch of people viewing this morning, man. We're thankful for that. You're still viewing. Yes, yeah, I agree, Emma? Jessica. Oh well, I changed it so I could comment I on was something. Just saying words. I'm sorry. But um, I've done that. anyway, um, guys, last segment coming up. Continue to let us know. Sounds like barbecue is the hot topic when it comes to places we should go eat. We're interested in all places, but if you think <laughs> <laughs> I love it, what happened? That's true. That's, That's true, Corey. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, you'll see. If you haven't it's seen it, it's gonna pop yet. up. Um, yeah, man, I still might run from here. I yeah, I do that. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I'll do that. Wait for me. You can wait for me. That's a whole day. No. See me later. Do it oh, I can do it on my uh, break, meal break at work. Oh, I'm man. telling you, man. You can rest. Mama Think about it. You can carve up better. It'll, it'll be a better run. It'll be a better run. Telling you. It'll be 75 degrees outside, man. Today? Not when we leave. Yeah, but today, yeah, 75. No, later today. Later. Yeah. Yeah. Like, later yeah. on. Yeah. Five or six. You're five or six. Do you think you'll get back by uh, five or six? Did you say six earlier? What's up? Hey, what's up, man? Good morning. Do you think you'll get back by six? Didn't you say six earlier? Six or seven? You're going to be seven. like, you're going to get a workout today. You're going to get a workout you. today. I'm telling you, man. You should just, we should do it then. Because I can, we can. You can park. I, don't know, I thought you were going to put Corey Trips. How uh, dare you? Statement up there. Barbecue will preach, y'all. Okay. Barbecue so, is a, bo- a beautiful thing. I like Corey Trips. Corey so. Trip, it's up there. Um, I don't so, see it. Here's a fun note. Jesus was a Jew. Jews wouldn't eat pigs. pigs. Right. Couldn't have been barbecue. Yep. It would have to have been steak. But I guess you could. Steak, but that's where brisket. That's well, where brisket comes in. They you know they do chopped turkey, barbecue. chopped yeah. barbecue they turkey. They do now, but they didn't back then. Now, I wonder how that compares. Not really. under the law I anymore. I think I've had it like it, once. It wasn't the, uh, it, 
Thanksgiving hadn't been invented yet. They didn't even have turkey back then. <laughs> Who said that? Did that just happen? Did I miss that? No, I, was I, just, oh, I was okay. just being Sorry. What a silly willy. I was just being dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Hey! You want some? No, hey! What's going on here? Oh, picture here! Picture here! Good morning, brother. How are you? Come on! Come on! Oh, yeah! Come on! Come on! Here's our friend. Okay, my friend. Good morning. Good morning, every. Hey! Good morning, man. Come here now. He gets a little weird with the hands. What's going on? Uh, I'm not speak a lot of English, but I can practice with you. Yes. I have one little joke. Okay. okay. Very clear joke. Okay. Okay. Yes. First, okay. One person in the highway, uh, you see the sign in, yeah. the, in the freeway. Yes. Yeah, sure. Oh, sure. they want to see. Okay. They want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm going to yeah, practice my English. Yeah, okay. You can hear me. Okay. Yes. No, you're good. You're good. Come okay. Yeah, Perfect. Easy. Perfect. Okay. One person in the in the highway. Yes. Yep, is uh, maybe 70 or 75. Speed, speed, right? Yeah, exactly. It's very uh, uh, fast. Speed, fast, yep. exactly. Yes. Okay, fast. And C one sign is reduced to fifty. Right. And the person reduced to fifty. Yep. Okay. Ahead, one more sign. One more sign. C say reduce twenty. Yeah. And wow. the person reduced twenty. Yep. One more sign. Mm -hmm. Reduce five. Reduce five. And the person reduced five. Say, what happened? And <laughs> I have is big, big sign is welcome to reduce. Welcome to reduce. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was awesome. I'm going to the show. Thank you. Thank you for stopping. Come back and see us, man. This is our daily. My man. Yeah, man. My man. Good. That's awesome. good, man. That's great. Good, man. I love that. That's, That's hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> we need to start a new segment where he just comes in. Yeah. Tells a joke. And rolls yeah. Out. Like, and then so I was like, I was like, uh, I, I was like, Paul, make sure you're ready to pull the. The, the 13th segment. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> the segment could be called The Bridge to Live Minnesota. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Whatever that is in Spanish, I don't know. Woo! The yeah. last part of Spanish. That was really funny. That's actually. hilarious. Welcome to Reduce. I, I got to tell that one later. Yeah, me too. I'll have to tell that one later. Milton too. Long must have got a kick out of that. Mike's Farm is fun to Christmas. And they were, what were y'all talking? I still don't see what he said. Who, Corey? Yeah, that Trip? was. He said, just a note, a fatted calf can't make Eastern Old Cow's oh, yeah. barbecue, no cows allowed. I, I just must have missed it. It's probably got to be up there. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. That's funny right there. I don't care who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who you are right there. Right there right I don't there. care who you are. Hey, drops in the ocean, Hawks Nelson. Is that coming on next? What no. you guys talking oh. about, man? I don't know. When do we come on next? One more song. It's like 8.50. One more song? Come on, somebody. What's the other? What's know, one minute. One minute. That's one minute. What I thought. There Joel. you go. One more minute. There you go. Oh goodness. Did Corey's I? Corey's opening. Corey's opening. Yeah. Did I? What do I have? I don't have to do nothing in this. Uh. -uh. One. You just got to be you, buddy. The exit. You got to be you. Hey, uh, play the um, being this the last one. Play the cops theme again. When oh, when man. he's saying what we're talking he's about saying. the duo that draws Drew on their face. You're talking about that, right? Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. I'm gonna get them up on the screen. Right Go ahead and now. get them up on the screen. Yeah, 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 So, people, we have a ton of comments. We can't forget to pray, but we won't do that after the we'll last segment. We'll do it as soon as we get off the live. Yeah. Um, man, so many people have had so many suggestions, and I'm so thrilled by it because I'm just surprised by how many places I that were told and I didn't hear, like, I, or I didn't know. I didn't huh? have knowledge. What'd you say? You said a song. He said a minute. He said a minute. He and then a minute, minute went Joe, by. You're opening, Corey. Oh, you. Tell them something good. Five, four, three, two, one. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Corey here with welcome Paul back. Jared and Joe Money Jones here on 98.3 <laughs> The Bridge. Currently 44 degrees outside, high of 75 expected, and we have been rocking and rolling on the show this morning, talking about things all people love, food. Yes. <laughs> Beyond <laughs> Limits Eats, the new show we will be starting here very, very soon, and we have asked you guys to get up on our live feed because it is going viral and suggest awesome. to us where should Beyond Limits go to eat. 
We're going to be going to these places that you announced to us, and we're going to be eating their food and <laughs> pumping their brand and I'm getting excited. out there. I'm telling I'm excited. I'm, I'm hungry I'm right so now. I'm so hungry, yes. And, and I'm telling you, bro. I'm, so I'm just so excited about this. There's so many places. And I was telling the guys earlier before we started, I'm so surprised. I was excited about it, but I'm surprised about the number of suggestions from people for places that I had no knowledge of. Never heard I of. I never heard of them. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, great. you know, we're, we're talking, we're talking in Beaufort, Pitt, yes. Craven County, and, and anywhere in between the area that the bridge coverages, and, and even further people have been suggesting, but there's so many places yeah. I didn't know about, and they sound so interesting. I can't Dude, wait. We got like three or four different places from Bellhaven. Yeah. And I'm like, yes. I'm telling Bell you, Haven Aiden, really cool. Aiden, you know, Aiden's right down the road, and there's places that were suggesting them. I never knew about those places. But it's going to be huge. Fan favorites, man. Can't beat fan them. Fan favorites. If you want to eat good beow, food, beow. you gotta you got to go where the locals eat. That's what I always say. If you're on the live stream right now, you're looking at not only Jared, myself, and Corey, but you're looking at, well, Archie Gilmer's face because I threw his picture up there. I'm sorry about that. And uh, <laughs> you're also looking at two guys covered in permanent. Yeah, I love this world, story, man. man. So... I have kids. <laughs> I love that song, yeah. Joe. <laughs> bad boys, bad boys. No, I have kids, and I've came home before, and I have found drawings on our wall. Drawings on Luke used to like to draw on his face. His whole face would be marked up, and it's funny, it's cute, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to get all yeah. that off. Yeah, permanent markers. Yeah. Well, these two guys permanent. said, "Hey, you know what? Let's go rob." An apartment. Yeah. And we don't want nobody to see us. Well, that's very world, bad. Man. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw all over our face. Yeah. With a permanent marker. Yes. That way nobody will be able to tell that it's really us. <laughs> right. So <laughs> I can't, first of all, I can't, that thought process doesn't register with me. So they go in and they rob this place. They're leaving and they're driving down the road. And uh, Paul, Corey. Jared. Funny thing about permanent marker is. It's permanent. It's yeah. true. So when they get pulled yeah. over, they got this permanent marker all over their face. Yeah. Easy to recognize, easy to spot, and easy to tote in the back of the car to jail. Well, you know what, what I'm going to say, right? Yeah. You're going to say, let's say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. I'm not surprised. I just wanted to make sure you were going to say the same thing I was going to say. I was thinking cheese. Yeah, see, why that's why I didn't do it. it was I'm weird. not surprised. You were going to be I'm not right. surprised. You were right, Jared. But no, I'm not surprised. So man. I am surprised at the number of times Corey and Paul have said, I'm, I'm not, not surprised, surprised yeah, by true. these stories. I don't, I mean, it, it's just like telling medical stories to a doctor and, you know, you just can't make the stuff up. He's going to say the same thing about a procedure or an operation or, yeah. or whatever it may be, you know. Uh, we, we, I'm not going to say I've seen it all because I haven't. I, I mean, I've only been doing law enforcement for about five years now. But we, we I've seen a lot, and I'm just not surprised, Jared. Yeah. Folks just don't make it, no sense no more. It, it surprises you know? me. I'm, I'm tracking, uh, you know, I was a canine officer right? with the poli police department. This guy breaks in off of uh, Best Road, which is out by Bee's Barbecue. Whoop, Love Bee's that barbecue. barbecue. And he breaks out, and he runs us the middle of the night, and we're tracking him with a dog. This guy lays down in a ditch and covers himself with mud yeah mm. like one of those special ops people yeah, okay, i guess they thought it was gonna work yeah. he he went to jail yeah he got bit by the dog he <laughs> went to jail a lot of things happened that night to that young man he was covered in mud and bit by a dog that's not a good that's night. that's a bad night just man i just i can't believe the thoughts that goes that <laughs> go through people's head a lot oh, of yeah. fear man a lot of fear like you know people jump and run from cars and they don't have warrants and yeah. They don't have it. I mean, there's just nothing wrong with the car, nothing in it. They just run. And yeah. we're thinking, why would you do that? I you know, just don't run you might not even yeah. got a ticket, bro. Yeah. You know, but people just so. do things because I don't know. I've loved this show. Yeah, it's been oh, awesome. Man. And you know what? Tomorrow we have a special guest coming on with us there in the eight o'clock hour. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Wayne Jr. and Miss Candy Howe from Howe's Mercantile will be on. They got a big event coming up this weekend. So I'm looking forward to spending a little bit of time with them. Exciting It's stuff, been a great man. morning. We love y'all. Thanks for tuning in to the Beyond Limits Morning Crew on 98.3, The Bridge. Boom, 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 wow. boom, boom. Yeah, man. That was so good. That was good stuff. I'm surprisingly not Your hungry. Phone I figured I'd like, be hungry. Let me tell you something. For you you oh, ha! So okay. You, you want to run? I was like, I was seven. proud that yeah, I man. Look, it's I'm not trying to. We I'm can't not, do the green. Because they're awesome. Why? It's not gonna be lit at yes, seven. It will.
It's not dark till like eight. Wrong, wrong show, Paul and Corey. We're not talking about being lit today. It's not going to be. We're talking about food. So the sun sets. Hold on. Sun sets. Hey Siri, what time is sunset tonight? Why are you going to do that? The sun sets at seven thirty-two. Just me talking to my phone. Hey Siri. Eleven thirty-two. Hey Siri. No. Huh? What are you doing? Are you, being a, you being a Jared right now? Uh, um, being a it Jared. Sets at, it sets at 7.32, but it's still going to be, that. you're still talking about another hour of low light. It's still going to be, you know, 8.30, it's not going to be completely dark. What happens if, like, a bear comes out? Are you kidding me? No, he's not kidding. Bears are real things. They are. They are real things. One, the weather's going to be better. Two, so at least we'll be comfortable we're going to see the sunset. Aren't the horse flies out in the evening? They're not out yet. They're not out yet. I don't think. I don't think, I don't think horse flies are out yet. No. But we I run away I from them. I have seen mosquitoes come out. I think I've seen mosquitoes, man. They're already out. Yeah, they're already out. Not mosquitoes, a lot. They, mosquitoes never went away this year. Never got cold enough. Yeah. I hate mosquitoes. Yeah. I'm convinced that. Sleep good, Scott. I'm convinced that you're convinced. I'm very convincing. You're very convincing that you're convinced. Look, That's look. what I meant. Candy and Wayne. Oh, that's not the name. Okay, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. What a show, man! Y'all have done. Hey, thank go you. Go get some thank sleep, you, Scott thank Johnson. You, thank what you. Show. What yes, a show! Man. It was a very solid show. There are some very stupid criminals out there. Don't <laughs> don't be one of them. Yeah, man. And we got some awesome. Just don't be a criminal. Man. Yeah, yeah no that's doubt. right. Don't be. Don't be. You you can be dumb. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't. But don't be a criminal. Don't be a criminal. Have, have a good uh, we sleep all do session, things. Scott. I'm gonna be doing the same thing. I'm gonna go home and get some sleep. Yeah. After I do some rolling, my plan is to go roll, go home, eat, sleep, wake up, maybe lift. You gonna lift before we run? And then roll no, but it'll, no. If I do, it'll be hours before I run. See, if we, if we do, right before I go into work. If we and then I can still use my meal break to run with you. That's my plan. If we run at Champions, man. What can this you do to lose? Redundant. It is. I boring, agree. It is redundant. Run. It is redundant. Why don't you Y'all want to run with us? What is your fear? We're going to run tonight. Hey, look, before we talk about this anymore, let's pray. Got, yeah, you know, hey, we almost forgot. We got to pray. We didn't yeah. almost forget. We were going to no, do, we're gonna it, do but, it. No, we were going to do it in the last segment. Jennifer Pagemore, if you're still watching, we're going to be praying for you and, and anybody else. The prayer, uh, the praise item of um, Michael Brooksmore, what's up? The praise item of the um, Mama D's aunt. Aunt, yes. You say aunt always? Yeah. Do you say aunt or aunt? Listen, um, aunt or aunt? I've heard you say say Aunt Deborah. Aunt Deborah, yeah. So he says aunt. Uh, do you say aunt or aunt, Joel? Aunt. Yeah. Neither way is wrong. No, I'm not making. Auntie, normally I'd be like. Auntie. Do you really say auntie? <laughs> no. Uh, normally say, I'd be like maybe auntie auntie right now if if it was something weird, but uh, this yeah. is I'm totally okay with either way on this one. All right. Prayer. 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 P R A Y E R. Time. T I M E. Watch this. Boom. Hey guys. guys, if you're still watching and uh, you're able to join us in prayer, you know what I mean. Yeah. You're driving change. down the road. It's okay to keep your eyes open. Absolutely. Absolutely. I do that all the time. Yeah. yeah. Say prayer. Just talking to God. Usually do it right right before every shift. Did I pray yesterday? No, we didn't. Uh-uh. The day no. before yesterday, I did. So. Okay. Yep. Y'all want it? So yes, That's Jennifer it. Page Moore and uh, her eight eight month old um, who just had pink eye is now sick. Yep. Hundred three. Had to go to the doctor. Hundred one to hundred and one point four. Yep. All right. And what did you say the praise? What's the praise we we pray? Mama D's. Mama D's aunt had hip surgery and went well. Good she good. had it on Monday. All right. Yep. We're ready. ready. So yep. each each of us, I'll start and we can. You want to close? You just go. All right. Ready? You start in the end. You start in the end. All right, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today, and we are so humbled, Lord, and so grateful. Um, we just you, when we lift you up, Lord, and it just—it's so abundantly clear just what you do in our lives. And prayer changes things, Lord. You change things. You have the power and the ability to just just do what you've always said you would do for us, Lord. And we love you for it. And we thank you for the great show that we had, the feedback, the listeners, the viewers, Lord. Um, we just thank you so much for them. We we want to ask Lord for you to please be with Jennifer Page Moore and her and her child, her eight month old Lord, who has a a fever of 103. Last we were told, and that's just that's just that's tough stuff, Lord. We just ask you to please, Lord, put your hand on that child, heal that child, Lord, and be with the family right now. I know it's stressful for them, 
and uh, just maybe so that they press into you now, Lord, because that's what truly matters, Lord, to press into you when times are just hard, and we just ask you to please be with that family, be with that child, Lord, abate their pain, and just lift them up during this time, Lord, we want to uh, praise you, Lord, that uh, Mama D's um, family member, uh, her, hip, her hip surgery went um, well and it was successful we thank you so much for that for being with medical professionals lord and being with everybody because everybody needs your touch lord they all do lord no matter what the profession where they're at in their life lord we thank you for always lord guiding the hand and no matter what they're doing lord even if it's just getting up and waking up in the morning and going about their day lord the enemy tries to get in through always whether it's through our actions and our daily duties or just trying to live lord just trying to live life lord and that's what we want to do. We want to speak life on this show. And we are so thankful that we have the platform to do it. Um, and just help people live a life filled with Christ, Lord. That's what we want to continue doing. God bless everybody who, who participates in this, Lord. And we thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Uh, we love you all so much. Come thank on. you so much for tuning in today. Tomorrow, we are talking about things that kids do that... Like all kids do, like that make crazy absolutely things. no sense. Makes Come on, no somebody! Sense. And that most of the time, the story goes like this: You'll never believe what my kid did last night. He did blah 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 blah. Chances and the are. response is, "Oh my goodness, my kid did that too." Yeah, that's they, what we're talking about. Those do, kind of they things. Do some, we're talking about that tomorrow. They do some. I'm excited about that too. Unexplainable things. You know, I, I hate it when I have to leave and not be here for training or something. But when I'm here, I love it. I'm excited. We love it when you're here. Tomorrow. I'm excited about it tomorrow. When you, leave. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. God, today was a good show. Yeah. Totally can you see it? Show. Can you see it, man? I can see it. Can you feel it? Can How you see it? Corey, Corey, these lights are going How with you feel us. It? Amazing. Dude, we're going to be going and eating and filming yes. and talking. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Spread let's go. Let's go. And spreading the gospel. Jesse Cana. Let's go. Let's go. Have a great day, Mama D. Have a we good love day, you. Mama D. You have a great Peace. day. Peace. Love. Grace. Let's do it. Looking forward to that, man. And if you work at a GM dealership, I just got noticed that your uh, consensus is due. We love you guys. Look, 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 look. let me tell you something. We're closing now. We yeah. are closing now. Closing. God bless you all. Closing. Guys, we don't. If you minutes. didn't get to get your. Get, um, get, get on the screen. Tell them bye. Yep. If you guys did not get to uh, get on the live stream and let us know, just DM us. Um, Direct message. Yep, direct message us at Beyond Limits. And uh, anytime you have anything, uh, suggestions or uh, notifications, praiseworthy items, prayer requests, anything yeah, relevant, uh, let us know. Direct message us. Yes. But thank you guys so much. We love we are you. very accessible. Yes. yes. Hey, and something else. We're going to a birthday party on Saturday. Yes, we are. Well, yes. Yes, we are. That part of y'all are. I got a live remote at Howell's Mercantile a &W Sales on Saturday from... 8.30 until 11.30. And then I get to go to Relay for Life from 12 to 12. Play music. Thanks, Joel. Joel, that. what are you Appreciate doing? It. All right. God bless wait, you guys. Y'all have wait, a wait, wonderful wait. day. One second. Wait, I'm sorry. Know. I got to reconnect the camera. Three times a day. Three times wow. a day that's happened. It's just got a little... Come on that's now. Side. What's we going on over here? There we go. We're back. Oh. Oh. Joel. <laughs> Look like a criminal, sir. A criminal. A dumb criminal. Like a criminal. So message the page. Yep. We love talking to y'all. We love hanging out with y'all. This has been an awesome show. Thank you so much for your help. Yep, 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 yep. Joel Jones does look like a fish. And y'all have a great Thursday. Absolutely. God bless y'all. Have a good day.